All right, I believe we're all set. Let's just head back over then. Alrighty, everybody. Also, I want to say uh, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Um, <laughs> we had a few early comers here, uh, and we had quite a few. Uh, Netherlands chat room spotted. Don't worry about that. That's just a, it's just a place me and my pals used to <laughs> used to go. Wait, how did you spot it? It's not even. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> nice fright. Thank you. I made it myself. So let me give a big hello to everybody in chat. Um, sorry, we're looking a little bit different today. Uh, we got Sin Saga. Welcome in, pal. We got Icy. We've got Tan. Uh, we got Floop. Hello, hello. We've got Madrosity and Kiwinator. Also, thank you, Kiwinator, for subscribing. Welcome. I hope. Uh, I hope. Pay, hey, pay attention to the movie. Don't don't have me. <laughs> if you're literally at the movies. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, and there's big guy. What's up, big guy? Um, Noair, hello. Uh, I think I said hello to Chicklet. I don't think I did. Hi, Chicklet. Welcome in, everybody. Ooh, Chicklet Chan. Whoa. Revealed yourself there. Yep, you guys, uh, you didn't know, but I'm actually from the, uh, <laughs> from the spirit world Netherlands. <laughs> this, okay, so the reason behind that is just, um, I've like it's it's an like a mostly empty place that me and a few friends would like go to just so we could challenge each other easily, <laughs> and we would like read the funny uh what are they, what language do they speak Dutch? <laughs> we would read the funny Dutch chat, and it would be like I squeeze got his Kurt Flarikskin Magnazone. So, all right, all right, enough, enough of that. Um, oh, I don't have any music going on in here. <clears throat> Forgot to turn that on. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so. <clears throat> Welcome, everybody, to the first Kajioniyama Scarlet and Violet Doubles a Tournament. Yay! Where we have many, many fighters. Uh, well, alright, some. Uh, Murase, Mura, welcome in. So, if you don't know how this works, the format is going to be doubles. However, per VGC, you will bring a full team of six Pokemon, yet you will only bring four to each battle. And we are going to be playing in a best of three format. So, you have to win two battles uh, to move on to the next uh, set. I believe um, we have everybody here available, so why don't I uh, hop back over <clears throat> and say hello, and we can introduce you everybody. Should I leave? No, you're all not. You're live now. It's too late. That would be. <laughs> oh, hey! Welcome everybody. We are on stream. Hello. Oh, oh hello. Small. Yes, we are very small. Listen, I didn't prepare a screen for this, so. Aha, uh -huh, he, did, he did the auto one. He did the auto one. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't ask for everybody's thing. All right, so why don't we um, introduce everybody? Um, we can start at the far left of the screen, unless Kane is gone. He said he might need Kane to. Kane is leave. gone. He is yes. deaf. Right. <laughs> he, he, you said that we're live. He definitely. Yeah, he, he's, he's out. All right. Well, every, if you know me, you probably know Kane. We're, we're part of Nakaboke together. <clears throat> anyway, um, Kalidora. Uh, yes, my name is Calidora Lambros. There is a parade on the street outside my house right now, so I apologize for that. But I'm looking forward to kicking some tail. All right, let's go. I'm looking forward to seeing your team in action. By the way, I have seen all the teams. Nobody else has seen anybody else's team. Hi, Maple. I saw Wolfie's team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wolfie's got a nice team, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's streaming right now. Let's go. A Frosty Faye, welcome in. We're raiding, we're raiding. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're raiding to his YouTube channel. 
No, YouTube has raids now. YouTube has raids now. Right? Yeah. Wait, do they? They do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they but but you can't raid from Twitch to YouTube. We'll, we'll figure Wait, it out. We'll figure it out. It's like, it sounds like you're giving up. I don't know. Oh, damn. Everyone, I'm just going to link him. Quick, go to Kachi's Quick, drop the link. Drop the link. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. Next up is Chad Thunderfunk. Oh hi, I'm Chad Thunderfunk. I stream once a month, and I like rain teams. Base. Oh, he likes rain teams. Nice. I wonder what kind of team he's gonna be bringing today. Wow, Son, Pelipper. That's crazy. <laughs> yo, oh, yo, he's got a Pelipper. That's that's insane. <laughs> is that a big Peps? Pe big Pex Pelipper? Holy shit. Is that a keen eye, Pelipper? Let's go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. ah, Alrighty. Not the accuracy draw. <laughs> no, you sand attack. I can't sand oh, attack it anymore. <laughs> my mud <laughs> uh, Next up on the list is Colum the Golem. Uh, hello, I am Colum the Golem, a coal golem living in my coal mine with my very nice friends, the Ursa Miners, area bears with pickaxes who mine coal for me in my coal mine. I'm a variety streamer. I play many games, but... Every Saturday, I do a voice acting stream. This Saturday, I'm not gonna promote. Actually, never mind. That's why. Hey, no, don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> All right, uh, like literally today after this, we're doing Pyre, which uh, a certain rat has assured me. Although it's a gameplay game, it has more dialogue than gameplay. Ooh. Anyway, oh, a lot of that's rats. <laughs> yeah. There are many win, rats. You win the right to self promote. Okay, true. all right. Yeah. You, you better win Cole, now. Cole, ha Cole has won a tournament already. <laughs> that's I true. have won a tournament. It was a doubles tournament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lost to that one, so anyway, flu. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> oh, we had the two sides of the Urshifus, though. It was the Urshifu battle of the century. That that was pretty base. Yeah, you had a good oh team. Oh, my God. Yeah, your, your team fucking rolled me the first match. Like, I, I didn't get a single KO. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, Floop, you're up next. Wow, that's me. I'm God's least favorite. If I'm playing flute with sentient keyboard, uh, I build keyboards and play video games. What was that first thing you said? God's least favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Pat <I> says <laughs> uh, Oh man. Uh, then next up we have, I believe, the only non VTuber in the tournament. I don't know if Icy is here. Oh yes. I can say stuff. Hello. Uh, I'm a I'm a professional viewer, and um, <laughs> I heard there was snacks here, so I, I I came to play some Pokemon. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next up, well, the next one is me. Uh, if you don't know me, if you're new here, my name is Kaji Oniyama. I am a martial artist from the spirit world. I love to play fighting games, but I love to play Pokemon too. Pokemon is my probably my second favorite thing. Anyways, Pokemon is a fighting game. Oh my god, you fighting it, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will not be participating, um, as I am the host. I will be uh, spectating and commentating the whole time. Um, I will also have some co-commentators um, that will you know, be up here with me if they're not battling. Uh, but yes, uh, next up, we have Sin Saga. Uh, hello, I'm Sinsaga. Uh, I'm a new VTuber and uh, I stream Pokemon and JRPGs. And uh, this is gonna be my first tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go in finals, but I really wanted to try it out. So thank you, Kaji, for uh, letting me join in. Yeah, absolutely. Always good to start uh, somewhere. You got it, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, you got it. I remember my first Guilty Gear tournament, <coughs> I went 0-2. And now I'm like top three in all. He's of them. just like me. He's just like me. <laughs> For real. But Floop Kaji got better. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you won. Oh, you won. Okay. And lastly, but not least, the the gentleman who is awake at an ungodly hour just to participate. It's Toru. It's six a.m. That's yeah, ungodly. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Toru. I'm a turtle VTuber. but I've probably been playing a bit too much Pokemon, which has led to some questionable life decisions. Um, I also stream other games once in a while. I stream Guild Wars 2 and I guess... I, I like to do like comedic skits that I sometimes post uh, on Twitch and on YouTube. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm here today to play a bit of Pokemon and... I don't know. Do I want to win or do I want to like lose twice in a row so I can go back to sleep? Yeah. I'm not really sure. <laughs> do your power best. Power between your sets, bro. Just power it up between your sets. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh, man. Alrighty, well, that is, um, I believe, most of our competitors. Um, hopefully... <clears throat> Fish. Well, yeah. I, I, I'm back. Oh, he's I'm back. back! Okay. <laughs> Introduce yourself, Kane. Alright, hello, Lionel. It's me, Nazi Kine. I am a Dragon Messenger YouTuber, and today I am here to uh, redeem myself from the last tournament in which I was brutalized uh, by <laughs> Ice Punch, I think it was. Mm. A lot of things. Uh, that was, I believe somebody specifically put that on a set just to fuck with me. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, who would tell someone to do that? Haha. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Who well, would slot an, an ice move in the slim chance that they're fighting Kane? I, I, I hate all of you. I hope you know. I, hope you know. I, I ran the calcs for them. Like, yeah, if you do this, you one shot every time. Well, we have That's no scary. idea who Kane might be bringing this time, especially since Garchomp is in the game. But we'll we'll just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> Garchomp's in the game. Yeah, I <laughs> believe we should have one more joining us hopefully <laughs> the, they will show up soon otherwise we're gonna have to DQ but we don't want to talk about that right now we want to get into some games so I'm going to hop back into the uh, casting room um, and we'll go casting. over the yeah it's secret you can't see it um, we'll go over the bracket really quickly and then we will start our first game so I will see you Hell momentarily yeah. all right no, there's just a big cat Kaji on screen. Anyways, let's go. So, like I was mentioning, this is going to be a best of three double elimination tournament. So, let's check out our bracket. But you know what? Hang on. Let me hit the button that says start the tournament. Uh, technical difficulty. <laughs> also, the cat wants to leave the room. Gotta open the door for her. Let's go. Hang on. Be right back. Okay. So. <clears throat> nice foogie, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Were you referring to the cat one? I don't know. Anyways. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I think we are set here. So. Oh, we don't have, um... Oh, he never joined. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at people who have signed up and then have not joined the Discord or sent me anything, so uh, that one might have to... Will there be post-game interviews? Yeah, we'll do that. Give me uh, one moment here before we start. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
Okie doke. Apologies. So, we've had to make a, a couple adjustments for uh, people who have not shown up. Um, there is one more potential uh, <laughs> challenger that may not have uh, uh, <clears throat> shown up today. Um, however, we are going to start out with Kane versus Sin Saga. So we'll call both of them to the field. So, how this is going to work, I need you two to find each other on Showdown. Make sure that we're battling in uh, 4v4 draft. Uh, since official VGC format has banned Pokemon that we are going to be allowing. Um, once the battle is ready, um, you can send me a link or just let me know so I can find you. Uh, and then we can get this show on the road. But I am very excited to see what we're gonna what we're gonna be working with here. So I have seen all the teams. I know the strengths of Kane's team. I know the strengths of Sin's team. So I think we're gonna have a very nice set of matches today. Hi, only just got out of work. Hello, pup. Glad you could uh, come to watch at least. I wonder what Terra Garchomp Kane is going to bring. That is a that's a good uh, like a good thing to think about. Is I know that once the meta kind of flattens out. Um, and they, you know, find the best Terras for each type. I think it's going to be a little bit easier, but you still have the option to make whatever Pokemon into whatever Terra type, and then Terra type at any point in the game. Um, so that's always going to be a big surprise factor that I think is going to keep things exciting um, and keep the meta sort of shifting, uh, if you ask me. Alrighty, why don't we pull our buddy Floopster in here? Oh, I was in a DM to direct me. I got jump scared. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. And I got you. There you are. All right, so Floop is going to be uh, co-hosting with me here for uh, any match that is not his. Yeah. Let me... I wonder if you're a little bit quiet. No, I, I got you at 200. <laughs> sorry. I, I, can, I can move closer to the mic. It's fine. All right, you're good. So I'm actually... Glam, uh, what, Glamora, right? That's the name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Glamora is a interesting Pokemon. Because it drops Toxic Spice when it takes a physical attack. Alright. Oop, looks like the game has begun. Take the no signal off here. Boom, there we go. Alrighty, so Nanasekine is on the uh, left side. And then we've got uh, Sin Saga on the right. Let me hang on, let me let me get some cooler some cooler battle music on. What's your uh, favorite, um, like, OST for, for battle music, like, for Pokemon? Battle music? Oh, man. Gen 3 uh, boss music. Hmm, I see, I see. Alrighty. Well, uh, Kane and Sin Saga, you guys are free to go at any time. You can get started. Now, Sin Saga, um, you may notice that they only have uh four pokemon uh they've only brought four pokemon <laughs> uh, uh you know this is a format where you can uh have a full team of six and bring four or you can just have a team of four if you want all right so we're starting off with a protect on the fake out all right and we're setting up rocks what do you think about uh this glamora pokemon i i want to like it like in theory it's pretty bulky 
it can actually like do decent damage mm-hmm. it's just the abilities are so bad for doubles just because corrosion isn't you don't really use uh poison powder or like toxic right and toxic spikes itself is not very good in doubles yeah usually you don't see a whole lot of hazard setting in vgc oh no oh, on the wow sw- oh boy what one for one trade one for one trade that's actually huge Wow, so both of the um, Gardevoir uh, paradoxes are off the field. Yeah, <laughs> yes, the Garchomp. <laughs> that was a huge turn. What I was going to say, though, is I think with the addition of Glamora and how easily it can set up hazards, maybe hazards will make a comeback in VGC. Because it hasn't been seen since Gen 4, if I yeah. remember correctly. Ooh. Uh realistically kane could have left that glamora alive and looked at like sword stance yeah um because it was choice banded into stealth rocks was it really yeah because uh oh it tricked kane you're right trick tricked yeah i forgot about that part and does take a little bit of damage on the miascarada on its own Ooh. ally switch failed why did I... ally switch fail I don't no i bl- i believe it can fail like protect now, but I didn't think it would fail outright. Uh, yes, Chico, this is best of three. That is, cur- I, I, I wonder if you can't ally switch with, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to ally switch with a uh, terrestrialized Pokemon. Uh, it might, because you can you can ally switch with uh, Dynamax ones. Yeah. Okay, which interesting. Which is like, Huh. Well, that is the first game to <laughs> Nanasi Kine. However, very, very clean. Yeah. Game one. That was, I would say it was fairly clean. Um, however, that <laughs> that uh, explosiveness with the um, Iron Valiant, that was very big. That That is a very scary mod. Um, um, thank God Paradox mods aren't uh, allowed. Mm-hmm. In current VGC format, they're terrifying, but oh, uh, 130 base attack fairy fighting type. That's scary. Mm-hmm. All right, looks like we've got the next battle. Oops, that's the replay. <laughs> Sorry, working on it. All right, here's the next room. Alrighty, so it looks like we've again got both Iron Valiants up on the field on turn one. Uh, Miascarada on the side of Nanase Kine, and the Serilege on the side of Sinsaga. So, what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, the, the Paradox Mons in general? Because right? they all have the same ability with a slight deviance. I think that they are, I think they're cool. Like, my immediate response to that question would be, I think that they are very, very cool. I like them a lot. Um, I think, though, that they're very strong, and I feel like a lot of sweepers are most likely going to be replaced by... um, Oh, hang on. There you go. (laughs) Um, A lot of sweepers might be replaced uh, with these Pokemon specifically. Ooh, Ooh. that is a dead Cerulege. A big knockoff. Yeah, Cerulege does not happen to have a lot of defense. So one good knockoff is enough to take it out, unfortunately. Uh, Per stays alive with the Protect on their own Iron Valiant, though. Uh, And it looks like the uh, Quark Drive abilities are a little bit different here. So uh, since Saga's Quark Drive is boosting its attack, while Kane's is boosting it's the speed. I feel like speed is more valuable just because speed control is something that's very valuable in VGC. Maybe not so much in um, yeah. uh, singles. Mm. And you I'm, see, I'm not too sure. And, and see, like we just saw right there, when it comes to a Pokemon like Iron Valiant um, and the power that it brings, really, whoever hits first is going to do major damage or even take a Pokemon off the field like we just saw. 
So that's why that's why it's, speed is very important in, in BDC. Because uh, especially if like you have like some sort of like other secondary speed control, like Tailwind, uh, Icy Wind, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Close combat into the normal Terra. We remembered that from last turn, or from last game even. Oh no. It looks like this one was cleaned up pretty quickly by Nanase Kine. Kane adapted very quickly to the uh, Terra Hyper Voice. Oh yeah, he, he saw that Terra coming a mile away and went for the super effective fighting move. Very, very smart, I gotta say. I feel like with Terra, is like if you see a specific bone Terra type, you can like start playing mind games too. Hmm. Because like you can be like, oh, it's going to, I've seen this Terra, like, steel but are you gonna hit it with a fire move if it's a ground type still or exactly what's what's the play there and i feel like that's a that's something that a, a metagame or a mind game we haven't had since uh z moves hmm well um because oh sorry go ahead it's like a one shot button yeah it's for real for real all right we can um if we'd like we can get kane um into uh what's it called we can get kane in here Hello, Mr. Nanase Kain. Hello. Hey, how are you feeling about that battle? That was pretty well, quick, if I had to, if I had to say. Uh, here, here's what I'm gonna say. Right. Um, I think my my team is not so much like my team was like good or anything, uh, but I think it having so since having only four Pokemon that I knew that were always going to be on the field uh, made it quite a lot easier to sort of like find a plan to sort of work around it, right? Because if since I had six. Uh, which, you know, is uh, kind of unfortunate that like, that wasn't the case. Uh, it would have made it, like, a lot harder to sort of, like, you know, see what sort of tr strategies could be changed around. Uh, because, like, the typings and so on and so forth, like, you know, and, and stat calcs and whatever, uh, they were a lot easier to do with, like, only four. I think that's honestly probably the biggest reason why I won. Um, because mm. I think Glamora, if I had allowed Glamora to really, like, set up and sort of keep up that momentum, switching back and forth, that sort of thing, I think I, he would have done a lot more damage uh, to my team overall. But honestly, I think it's just the situation is more what it is yeah i would have to agree um i did i did warn sin saga that bringing four pokemon i mean while that is a full team for bgc format technically you're gonna be at a disadvantage since you know one game is gonna show all of your cards um yeah and i would agree that's that's probably you know uh, uh, very easy for you to then just take all of the knowledge because there's no there really can't be any change up in strategy with only just four Pokemon mm -hmm. like they could have a different lead but at that point it's like oh I know what this Pokemon does exactly yeah I think the, the biggest thing was the um, the boom burst uh, on uh, toxicity because of course you want throat spray you want the stab you want the double stab and so if there there really wasn't anything else that could have been done aside from Terra into normal and so that made it pretty straightforward to to predict the Terra and then you know close combat with it does he uh overdrive the signature move does that proc throat spray uh i believe it I does the sound sure. move. yeah anything I mean, sound burst is a stronger right uh but that requires you to tear up with a stab while the uh other one does it possibly check and hydrate thank you uh but yes um, yeah, pretty much anything noise-based does activate th uh, Throat Spray, uh, and Sin Saga does confirm, which I'm sure was part of his strategy, uh, that yes, it does. Mm. But yeah. But anyway, congratulations. Good job, Kane. Thank You'll you, be moving you. on. Uh, Hell yeah. And we will talk to you, uh, in a little bit. For sure. Okay. And we can get, uh, our buddy Sin in here. Hello, hello, Sin Saga. Hello. Welcome in. Um, so, uh, what are you thinking uh, about that battle just now? <laughs> uh, like he said, um, having a tiny team of four Pokemon clearly put me at a disadvantage, but I already knew, just didn't have the time to make a full team. But, um, but yeah, um, at the uh, at the end there, maybe I shouldn't have Terrestrialized and instead Terrestrialized the other Pokemon, but... Even then, it would have been a four v four v two, and I don't think I could have have done this. With the two Pokemon, you had a very defensive Pokemon in terms of Glamora, which uh, was setting up hazards. Um, where realistically, you had Stealth Rock up, you had one layer of spikes and Toxic spikes up. Uh, 
you could have tried to stall and like look to take down one or two Pokemon realistically with it, I think. Yeah. Because if any one of his other Pokemon swap in, they're taking a lot of damage from entry hazards. Hmm. Yeah. Well, and that's yeah, something to think about um, for next time. Um, uh, Kaji, uh, are the PNG changer names supposed to be on... Uh, also, Chu, please. Uh, yes, Chu. Um, but I guess, no, they're not. <laughs> um, I can change, though, because uh, I know some... Uh, sorry, this is... Some people did redeem some stuff, but anyway. Uh, yes, so, uh, you are not finished. Um, don't worry about it, because this is a double elimination bracket, so you still have uh, losers to get through. Um, so, you can take some knowledge here, uh, apply it to the next battle, and uh, hopefully things will uh, turn around for you. Yeah, uh, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to climb the loser bracket either, but, uh, but I'm going to try. And yeah. uh, now I, at least I know that pretty much everything can one-shot my, uh, my iron, uh, what is it called? The, the Guard iron of War. Uh, yeah, the, Aryan it's Valium. not a very bulky Pokemon. It's very scary offensively, but defensively it's quite yeah. frail. I thought it could like live a non-very effective hit, but n not even. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Alrighty, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep on keep on moving on, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, review the bracket again really quickly. Boink. So that leaves us with a score of King Two. Alrighty. Very nice. Uh, we'll keep going with technically round two because I don't believe Harley uh, is showing up. <laughs> so, unfortunate. Um, it has been over... It's been almost 40 minutes. I have pinged them. Uh, so I think we're going to have to go ahead and make that executive decision. They did a How long ago? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Oh, they're offline. Like offline, offline. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> again, alrighty. But yeah, I will uh, go ahead and adjust this really quickly. Um, and it looks like our next battle is going to be Toru versus Cole. So, if we can have uh, Toru versus Cole. Oh wait. Wait. <laughs> Hold. I'm holding. Hey, somebody. If we somebody's typing. <laughs> <laughs> they forgot this is huge okay uh, yes in the meantime uh, if we can get and get them going very good very good i'm excited so there it goes and we do we are uh, having these all documented and recorded so very very sweet if i do say so all right i'm actually very interested in the uh Toru Cole, uh matchup Oh, wait, that is the opposite of the score that I want to submit. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yep, it looks like we've got the game from Cole and Toru. So we can go ahead and move back over there. Uh, 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 uh. And get some different music going. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one a lot. Uh, I'm basically just playing uh, <laughs> Pokemon Battle Revolution music. My favorite, personally. I, I love Battle Revolution. I need to play it again. Oh my lord. Mm. Alright. So, we'll turn this on. Oh yeah. Now we're grooving. Here is our next battle. We've got on the left side, Cole and the Golem VT, and Toru VTuber on the right. 
So we're starting with, I always forget their names, Kilowattril and Bramblegast on the side of Cole. And These two Pokemon complement each other very well. Do they really? So I know that um, the ability of Kilowattril with Tailwind does something. What does it do? So if, if Wind Power, if Tailwind is active or it's hit by a Wind Move, um, it gets a plus one speed. For Wind Rider, if it gets hit by a Tailwind or Wind Move, it gets plus one attack for Kilowattril and Bramblegast specifically. Really? And, yeah. Ooh, and there it goes with Phantom. Howl, that's fun. How interesting. Oh, and the Sash on Kilowattril. Very smart. Okay, Ooh. so Brambler is off the field at the moment, but is going to be coming back, and you cannot protect Phantom Force. So this is going to hit somebody. Uh, defending, depending on how defensive uh, these EV spreads are, it might live but that is stab plus one yeah that's quite it's, scary. it's it's gonna hurt somebody's gonna hurt now doxman is a pretty defensive pokemon not especially, especially defensive not especially defensive <laughs> no Ooh, that was actually a really good switch that, that was a there. great very smart so unfortunately doxman is down and the howl is now off the field we got some bread dog fans in the chat let's hear it for bread dog gone but not forgotten I'm I'm curious to see uh, what else this Haxorus is gonna do. Oh, great! Ooh. Protect on the air slash power whip. Ooh, resisted. Power, that's a resisted power whip, and it did 74 percent. That is huge. Goes for the dragon claw to get the guaranteed kill. Probably didn't want to risk it with rock slide. That is a strong little tumbleweed. Mm -hmm. Da Dawn. Here is the Iron Tusk. No, what is this? Great Tusk. I don't know all their names yet. Great Tusk is terrifying mm. because it learns uh, close combat and headlong rush, which is ground type close combat, which is a very scary stab uh, combination. Oh, a rock type Terra. Oh no, rock and Skeletor. Slide. <gasps> Ooh. All right, and there goes another Phantom Force. Now Toru's in a 50 50 of who to swap out to Arblovia. Yeah, this is a. Ooh. This is a very interesting situation. I mean, Tori might have a trick up his sleeve. I don't want to count him out. He is a veteran VGC player, but I gotta call it like I see it. It's not looking good. Oh Ooh. no! <laughs> the big rock great slide. Tusk is, great Tusk is terrifying. It's pretty fast. I, be, I believe it's base like 76 or what it is. Hmm. Now, Arboliva is in a okay position against a Rock-type and Bramblegast here, but I sincerely doubt Arboliva can do it all by itself. It's a very... Oh! oh the Rock Slide miss? That still hurts so bad. Ooh. It... Oh, oh! Wait, hold. Okay. okay. Wait. It, 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 I don't Grassy know... Grassy Terrain does boost Grass-type moves. That's true. I don't know... Well, and that's still kind of in the favor of, of Cole, because now Cole's yeah. got... Oh, yes, Grafaii. Okay, this is my favorite Pokemon from Gen 9. I love Grafaii. <laughs> this is a very interesting... Because Arblovia is a very specially defensive mon. Mm -hmm. But that also relies on Toru investing in defense. Right, because we've got two because, physical attackers. Well, yeah. one prankster, but it has a higher attack stat. Yeah. And there's the helping hand. I helping mean, hand. That's Yeah, that's not going to live. Oh, quite, Unfortunate. Yeah. But good strategy from Cole. Very well done. So that's that's game one. We got Cole I, up one. Cole might want to bring his Gyarados in the back for Geminid. Could be, and that Just would... Just to slow down that ramble guys mm. and there are a lot of gyaradoses that run terra flying with uh terra blast um so i think that would definitely help against uh the brambler anyways we'll put up our screen until we can get uh, to the next game here i am interested to see what the uh adaptation is going to be from toru 
Because I think Torud's definitely got a team that can overcome Cole uh, with the right plays. Uh, it, it does have a lot of synergy, especially with the uh, Arborovia and like Stellar Dirge. Um, if he has a way to set up Trick Room, which I don't think any of those mods do, maybe? Potentially? I, I don't know. B is like a uh, Pokemon's entire movesets. Alright, and we are ready for... Is that on for... me? Maybe? But... <laughs> yeah, we're ready for game two here. I, uh, to be totally honest, I don't know all of the movesets off of these Pokemon either. I don't, I don't even know all the names of them yet. <laughs> Alrighty, and we are ready to go whenever the contestants are. Oh, sorry, just having a little bit of water here. How are you doing today, Blue? I'm doing good. I woke up at 4 p.m., not by my own choice. Today? It's not even 4 p.m. Or 4, 4 a.m., sorry. 4 <laughs> He's still sleeping. I, I, I am sleep talking. <laughs> Alrighty, but we've got the same lead coming from Cole's side, um, and now Magnazone and Haxorus from Toru's side. Very curious. I'm wondering... I mean, obviously I know the teams, but, you know, uh, Terrastalizing and Terrablast have somewhat uh, brought Hidden Power back. So I'm wondering, do you run uh, Fire-type Magnazone uh, with Terrablast? That would threaten steel, grass types. Because uh, I believe. Ice. Terra ice. Interesting. Oh no, wait a minute. Haxorus. Oh, oh no! Wait, that's huge. That's nuts. The ice type. Perfect to kill the dragon type. Oh, wow. Oh Holy. my goodness. Brought I... down to the sash, but. Oh! Oh my lord. I would have never expected that. What? Wow. Mm. Alright, good protect onto Doxman. Here comes the Phantom Force, misses the Flash Dusty Brambler. Out. Yeah. Bit of an uneventful turn, but we've got a Phantom Force set up, so whoever this is gonna come into is gonna take some big damage with that 1.5 attack boost. And the Kilowattril is still on the field, just with that one HP. Still threatening. Ooh, Ooh nearly wait. kills the Magnazone. Play Rough doesn't quite pick up the KO, but that is still a threat. But he is stalling Tailwind turns, mm. so realistically, if Toru double protects here, Tailwind's gone. True. However, so he doesn't have to worry about being outsped by this Great Tusk. Yeah. So I'm wondering, you know, can Magnazone and Doxbun, uh, you know, outspeed if they do happen to live? I know we've seen that Doxbun is carrying play rough. And here come the protects. Oh my. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> The triple protect earthquake does damage to nobody. <laughs> this is I love VGC so much. Ooh. <laughs> and like you said, that tailwind is gone. Here comes the intimidate. Earthquake. Doxbun lives Ooh. and it kills Dusty Brambler. Ooh. But that but that great tusk is so tanky. Yeah. And Doxbun, I don't imagine, has a lot of attack invested into it. It's more of a defensive support mon, but that is some great chip damage when you think about it. For something, what is... I'm going to put a Doxbun's pass there. Tusk, yeah, you're right. Kane is correct. A minus one on uh, uh, the Don. So we'll have to see how Cole um, thinks of this. Because you can't Doxbun swap out anymore. has a whole whopping attack stat of 80. Hmm. It might be pertinent of Toru to switch out. Colo, Cole forfeits. I think he realized he's in a bad position there. Hmm. Yeah. Because he has that Magnus under the back that he could sack to bring in Gyarados again to intimidate again. Right. 
Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking too. That was the call that I would have made. Alrighty, well, it is 1-1. Cole and Toru are going to be going to game three. We haven't seen... Uh, we've seen all of Toru's Pokemon. We haven't seen the last two for all. Right. Which is interesting, right? Because uh, Haldini and Tauros, very good Intimidate Mon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's firefighting, really decent defensive typing, not weak to fairy. Um, and Espothra, which uh, has, I believe, the ab ability called Opportunist. Yes, um, and you're more familiar with that. How does that work again? So uh, the way it works is if a opposing Pokemon, right? So in doubles, it's the Pokemon right in front of that one, has a stat change, Espothra copies it. Ah, okay. So it's it's similar to the Flamigo one where Flamigo will copy its partner Pokemon and Espothra will copy its uh, opposing Pokemon opponent. stats. Yeah. I see. Okay. But it also gets speed boost as its hidden ability. So maybe Cole had time to grind out an ability pack? Mm, could be. Alright, so we're seeing the same lead from Toru, but we're changing it up on the side of Cole with Grafii and Great Tusk. Let me turn the. I down here. don't know too much about Grafii. I, I know it has Doodle, which can change a Pokemon's ability, right? Yeah. So it does have the Prankster hidden ability. Um, its signature move, Doodle, you choose one of the Pokemon that you want to steal the ability from, and it changes Grafii's ability and Grafii's partner. I don't think Cole wants to change that ability because Sunny day. they oh. really want to take, uh, take Protosynthesis. Oh, but a those bulldoze. Speed controls. Balloon on the Grafai Eye, so it doesn't get hit, but that's minus speed. And it's already got 70% uh, uh, life left. And no Tailwind to give it any speed. Yeah. Which is good, actually. Yeah. Here comes a helping, helping hand. hand. Oh, goes for a Dragon, Dragon Claw, Claw on the Grafai Eye. Rock slide. Oh, even with the helping hand. Zone. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a ch oh, chunky. Oh, that's a strong Magnus zone. Oh, it was terrible. Rock, it was, too. yeah. So it, it, that steel type move did become super effective since yeah. it changed types. I'm surprised that this Great Tusk doesn't have something like a Salt Vest. Yeah, I forget what the uh, item on that was. Because it doesn't look like it was a life orb. Mm -mm. Well, um, let's maybe hope... clear and it wasn't clear amulet. No, because it, it did get the speed drop. But let's hope uh, Cole can pick up the strategy um, off of losing Great Tusk. Uh, one curious if they brought um, Kilowatt Drill again. They probably brought Bramble Gas. So let's see. We're thinking about this turn. Here comes a protect. No flatter. flatter. Ooh, okay. Fun move. And there's a howl. Okay, well, the howl, I guess, is mostly for the dock spin. Yeah. So, With um, a base attack of 80, you do want anything that can help exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah, if somebody, or if anybody in the chat is not familiar, flatter is uh, similar to swagger, where it will raise the special attack of a Pokemon, but also confuse it. Oh, huge T-Bolts coming out from both sides. But nobody's dead. I believe that uh, Toru's just trying to stall Tailwind here because that uh, Bramble guy isn't going to make use of that Tailwind if it's gone. Yeah, I was just about to say we might see another double protect. Not a double here, uh, but Magnezone is going to stay alive. No! It hurts Heart itself in confusion. confusion. The flatter pays off. And the Kilowattril is still on the field. I'm certain that Doxman would have been going for uh, the Kilowattril. This is, this is tense. Very, I, this is a very interesting game state. Yeah, I can't call this yet. Okay, well, there you go. Confusion's Ooh, over. Turn one confusion. And Play rough connects. Tailwind's... And Tailwind's done. That's gone. And now Bramblegast doesn't get its boost. And the Intimidate! Oh, and the minus one. Oh, 
Oh, this this, this is, is looking a... good for for Toru. This is a very very interesting turn of events. Mm. I um, I really gotta say I love that Toru has been keeping Gyarados in the back just to wait until Cole can't switch out anymore because now Cole has to hold that attack drop. And. Intimidate is one of the best mm. abilities. Ooh. That was a smart move. That was really good. You I'm can't protect uh, Doodle. You can't protect that. I did that. not know that. Mm -hmm. However, um, it did get protected from the uh, Power Whip, so that is that is good. Doodle is such such an... <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a fun move. It's an amazing move. Uh, partly why I love Grafai Eye. Also because Grafai Eye is a prankster Pokemon. Prankster is my favorite ability. There's a Howl. And Grafai Eye is off the field. Power Whip does Power 40. Whip neutral. But the Citrus, Citrus Berry. A, very, a defensive Gyarados. You usually see stuff like Life Orb or, mm. you know, Choice Banner. Surprised to see you. It's Citrus. And there's another Howl. Ice Iron Head, not Ice Fang. Oh, Ice... Oh, and it hangs and it lives. on. It lives. Oh. I think that's that's going to be the game. Doxman picks up the KO. That's... Gee, that was a great game. Very, very Genuine. good game. That was good plays on both sides, because the, the doodle for the double intimidates is huge. Mm, absolutely. Alrighty, well, well played to, to both contestants there. Uh, let me... Uh, if we'd like, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask first. That was a oof. Uh, I'm surprised. Uh, we've seen defensive Gyarados before in like other VGT metas. Um, but this meta game has so many defensive Pokemon already. I'm surprised that they went with it. Hmm. Yeah, that was. I really enjoyed the. Oh, I, I didn't turn the music back on. I really enjoyed the um, Kilowattril Bramblegast from Cole. Um, I think that's a great. You know, that has great potential. Um, and we really saw that in game one. Um, all right, so yeah, we did get the confirmation. Um, so we'll be getting Toru in here first. Hello, Toru. Hello, hello. Welcome in. So. Sleepy as you may be, you did manage to take the win. How are you doing? Um, I'm a little more awake now. Let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Now so, that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, what I want to know is, uh, what was your thought process going from the round one loss, um, into the next couple games? Um. Well, first off, I'd like to say that I actually am. Uh, like I've theory crafted a team that I want to take for VGC ladder and it actually has Kilowattril in it mm. and so I was very very wary because I know that Kilowattril gets competitive as its uh, hidden ability so I was very very wary about leading or bringing Gyarados into the first game mm -hmm. and I think in the second and third game it played a really important role um, you know for Intimidate and for damage at the end but mm -hmm. I've really got blown back because Bramble Ghast is one of the new Pokemon and I wasn't really familiar with what it did. Like, it looks like, you know, it, it reminds me of, um, there was like a Grass Ghost Anchor Pokemon. Um, oh, Delmise. Delmise. Yeah, Delmise. It reminded me of that. So my impression of it was like, oh, it's just going to be another Delmise. Like, it's going to be slow. But no, it wasn't. It just BTFO'd me game one. It was really, really strong. And then so I said, okay. How am I gonna like get around this? Because I knew for a fact that like Kilowattril is gonna be able to get up Tailwind up every turn. So I, I don't really have good speed control. I have some na naturally fast Pokemon, mm -hmm. um, but no like no form of hard speed control, let's say. And so the best thing I could come up with was that, you know, okay, I'll keep Gyarados in the back because I really need him. As Cole's team was pretty heavy on physical attackers, you know, you had um, what is it called? The Don Pan variant. You had, you know, Bramble Ghast, and you had the Tauros as well. So I said, okay, look, I do need Gyarados for the matchup. Um, 
but then it's like how do you sort of like navigate around it and so what i came up with was you know uh magnazone and um you know magnazone and uh haxorus because that's like the best pokemon that i have defensively uh against the killer Wattrol and bramble gas duo so it worked out okay yeah you did a, a very a very nice job so congrats to you on uh winning the uh the first round here yeah no worries thank you thank yeah you very much all right and we'll see you in your next battle yep yep all righty uh next we've got colum the golem coming in welcome in cole hello cole how's it going very very uh exciting games oh yeah oh yeah seriously uh Back, big, well, I would say big back and forth, uh, but yeah, the first game, you know, uh, very, very good. Um, also, I mean, what am I saying? They are all great games. Uh, what are you thinking right now, though? Uh, the first game was actually funny. I had the wrong Terra type on my Bramble Gas, so I wasn't able to uh, Terra Ice that first round, which would have probably been the most massive time to do it because mm. of the dragon and grass type running around. And then the uh, the second and third round. So the second round went that uh, I had locked myself into the wrong move. I'm sure as we figured out the uh, uh, Great Tusk, the Don is a uh, choice. And so I was uh, locked into uh, Earthquake, which is a big misplay on my part because I should have expected the Gyarados. Mm. But then, um, what's it called? The third game, I was expecting my opponent to do something different, but they they simply did not. They brought the they same simply lead. just were like, "All right, let's go again." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could I could play this again, and then they just kept going with it. So, uh, you know, I have not at all practiced with this team. This is literally the first time I'm using it. Mm -hmm. It was all just theoretical before. So now I've learned a few things, and I'm ready to rise up the losers bracket. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Also what really sucked about the last time because there's a there's a huge strategy with uh grafii mm. uh, i hate that name by the way i'm going to call it grafiki because that's a way better name <laughs> um uh with grafiki you can copy your uh, an opponent's ability onto both of your pokemon and so i managed to do that with intimidate which is huge because it's a double attack drop yeah. minus two for the enemy it just so fucking happened that this guy has uh how it has like the one thing where it's just like all right well i could just raise my attack back up nice nice going but i would not have expected so, how if it were me i uh, yeah that's a very niche move that you would rarely ever see yeah, so it was unfortunate that the the very thing that undid me was that one move. Otherwise, I would I would have felt way better going into that last game. Mm -hmm. Uh, I hold on. If you might be asking, why why would you choose a choice item over something like assault vests or clear amulet on your uh, great tusk? To kill. <laughs> to what simply to kill. <laughs> you know you know what? Yeah, that. I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I mean it's. I feel like the stats at least the way i've seen it is it's so strong already that you would want something more defensive no kill <laughs> yes what are you talking kill. about <laughs> exactly mm. Floop, have, i don't think you know what you're talking about oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, but good stuff um and i i do oh, wish yeah. you luck in uh, in losers bracket I won't need luck, but Damn. thank you. Damn. All right. Good job. Oh, no, thank you. Please give, so me more. <laughs> give me more. Give me more luck. All right. Then get out of here. All right. Uh, but yeah, um, I do want to reiterate um, how Cole did mention is that, yeah, this is, you know, basically the Pokemon that you could muster up in game um, was one of the rules is that this team had to match a game. Uh, this game. This team had to match a team that you had in your actual Scarlet and Violet game. So not everything's going to be perfect. Not everybody could bring whatever they wanted. Not everybody had the time to, uh, you know, iron all this down or everything. So we're kind of seeing uh, a real taste of the early, early meta game. So that's that's what I'm thinking here. Um, so, Floop, Floopert, I believe you are up next, uh, aren't it's you? My, it's my turn. It I is. am going to step out. All right. All right. Have fun, commentator. Sure thing. All right. So next up, uh, if I put up our no signal here, is going to be Floop versus Chad Thunderfunk.
So we'll wait um, for them to get their things ready, to get their games ready. Um, I have seen Floop's team, and I have seen Chad's theme, uh, team, even. Um, I think Chad already told everybody that he's got a rain team. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, and we'll, we'll bring, uh, since I'm alone, we'll, uh, Cole has volunteered, so we'll bring Cole back in here. Uh, welcome back, Cole. Hello, Kaji. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let me go find, um, I don't know if I've ever had you on my stream before, so let me go find your, uh, Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Come on, Kaji. I've had you on my stream for over a year now. Come on, Kaji. Damn. You know what? You're right. I just haven't hosted something <laughs> that you've been a part yeah. of, I guess. That's true. We we've been very adjacent to each other. This is the first uh coming together. This is this is our uh degree separated from bacon. Hmm, yes. Wait a minute. I have you on my list. Cool. <gasps> oh gaming. Oh, yeah, okay, we do have you here. Let's go. Was I on your stream before? Because, like, I'm giving you shit, but I also don't remember. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Um, I, you, you, obviously, you were here. I didn't need to go get your thing. I've been here. I've been present. Sure. Were you here for, like, maybe, like, Pokemon before? It would have been something Pokemon, but I don't know what it possibly could have been. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, whatever it is, it, it worked out. Yeah. So. <laughs> we're, going, we're going into the games now. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just posted the link. It look, it. It's looking very interesting. I'm looking at your stream to see when you have it up before I say anything. Yeah, I'm just going to switch our music really quickly and take off the sensor. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let them know that they're ready. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> I said no. All right. We got the rain team. What's your first impression? I do see the rain team happening, but I also see a very interesting uh, Pokemon on Floop's team. All right. L before we go into that, let's actually talk about this match. Holy shit. We've got an Intimidate coming right off. Double yeah. Intimidate. Double Intimidate. With a clear amulet on the, uh, the Salamence. Yeah. Interesting. We can see that already. And there we go. Turn one. Floop flip turns out with the Palafin. Huh. We've already got him. We've got he, this. Floop is a contender who has been studying. This guy knows VGC. He knows what's popular. I think Floop has been the most excited for this tournament out of everybody. <laughs> mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Out of out of everyone here, he would know what to do. Oh my God, the helping hand already. It's not going to kill. There's a reflect yeah, up, but that Jesus Christ does save the oh. life. Ooh. The thunder. Holy mother. Okay. Well, this this uh <laughs> this Salamence is already doing work but i don't think he's getting out of here unharmed no definitely oh, not here comes a follow we've got to follow me actually hold on and the vault switch. switch to save the ments okay this is this battle is going fast these competitors know what they're fucking doing still no intimidate he uh, chad wants the intimidate so bad i gotta say that clear amulet is a fantastic item it's doing so much work right now. That meg that mance is supposed to be at minus one right now, but where is it? Plus one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We have Iron Yeehaw <laughs> on Chad's team. Uh, like do you think it's going to be able to outspeed? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, it's not at all and special. There it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, I was wondering whether there was some sort of special thing about a focus sash, perhaps a uh, a choice scarf, even. Just oh, no. to just to outdo the people who are speaking. Wait, did zero to hero work? Um, I think it did. It says that it went a uh, heroic transformation, but hey, Palafin well, hero. Yeah, we'll see if okay. this kills. It, uh, okay, it, well the reflect is up. Yeah, but... and there's an aguav. Ooh, and there goes. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. no! <laughs> oh, my God, the double KO! <laughs> my mom bird <laughs> is left to face but these two titans by itself no my mom's bird has, has no stat changes oh, to copy literally my mom's bird <laughs> literally. <can> fucking die <laughs> something went wrong holy oh my cow God. what a turnaround okay so i think it, it did say the palafin hero activated i think it just didn't yeah. switch to the, the, the correct thing sprite yes yeah, the sprite. sprite interesting to note the sprite in the team preview did change <laughs> yeah and I, I think that's how we know that it, it's technically working properly so that that oh my goodness can you imagine any creature under the sun surviving a rain boosted wave crash from a zero to hero palafin 
I cannot imagine it. I, I and especially in rain, I was gonna say like, oh no, I'm I'm afraid. Like, Chad set up the rain, but now the Palafin heroes on the field. But goodness, with that reflect yeah. up. The the only thing I could see that happened differently was that, uh, or that could have happened differently, is if Floop had terastalized to water just for the extra stab, but mm. that did not happen. I wonder if it actually is uh, terastalizable. That's a, that's the official term, by the way. Terastalizable. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Terastalate. Terastal litigation. There's there's many different terms. But we're st we're still coming to terms with all of them. Mm. Uh, Alrighty, and we are set. For Jesus the next Christ. Battle. So. Yeah, that, that last battle went so fast. Do you have any comments on it before we start? Like, holy fuck. I was not <laughs> thinking that a rain team would have swept um, as hard as it did. Now, the men Especially did versus in, a palafin. Yeah, the, the men did put in work. Unfortunately, that reflect um, really saved um, Chad. Like, yes, think... yes, that reflect was huge. Now, as we see right now, I don't think he's going in with the reflect. We have a mouse hold. And Mega Man up against uh, Rotom Wash and uh, Iron Yeeho. I don't know what the strategies from both sides are going to be, aside from that, that little mouse dropping a population bomb. What do you think? <laughs> I'm laughing at the name. <laughs> <laughs> Sex House? Yeah. Sex House. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the beat up for weak armor. Here comes the weak armor. Speed? And weakness policy. And, and weakness policy, oh, but no. he's already... more speed. Oh, but it's taken we it's taken so much damage it's, and it's so taking much more. damage and we haven't seen what the rotom wash is doing the sword power oh, though great. oh my god okay that was a i gotta say that was a smart move by floop knowing that he would probably get outsped by the iron yeehaw and going for the mm -hmm. other pokemon so it doesn't take any more damage and now yes i believe with four plus in speed it's gonna this outspeed could be... This could be uh, uh, at least a sweep if no predictions are made with Protect, but uh, I think this Mega Man is going down this turn. I don't see any way that it doesn't. Oh? Uh -huh. Okay, the Indeedee, in case of priority. The Expanding Force! force. Wow. wow! I didn't know that was on there. Okay, we've seen another kill. There was yep. no protect, no, no defensive options for Chad, but he still managed to get out of there with ah, one Pokemon. Attack. And unfortunately, the mom's bird does <laughs> mom's not bird gets the, doesn't gets take the special defense. So the uh. the strategy here, I believe, is mom's bird is supposed to come out with the Mega Man still on the field and instantly yes. copy all of those stat changes. Unfortunately. That didn't work out. So let's see yes, if... Uh, Floop, yeah. Floop opted for the Indeedy to protect against any sort of priority. You know, Shadow Sneak was a threat, but uh, maybe it would have been better to bring out my mom's bird. Yeah. Now we see a close combat from the bird. The Love Disc has already made a move. Uh, huh. I, I think this might be in Floop's favor because there's no priority on the field, but how fast is that Love Disc going to be? How strong is it? Ooh, the follow me. Yep. Never mind. Doesn't matter. The brave, brave bird, bird to and take it. Down. Wow. Okay. An amazing bout for bout. Ooh. We've seen a one, one to one so far. Yeah. The, one, the one. throws keep coming. The punches keep coming. I was a little bit afraid. Right. I thought since Floop's strategy didn't work out, that might have spelled disaster. But no, Mom's bird took it back. <laughs> All on it. Literally, on my mom's bird. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Kaji, does your mom own any birds? Uh, perhaps? No, we have cats. Ah. but no birds oh okay so the cats ate the birds sorry to hear that <laughs> um, let's see is this the third match um we will be getting a link to that third match in just a moment here hmm all right so yeah it does look like the uh, the, the prevailing strategy here is to get some boosts on somebody and then send in that bird for a second hand sweep mm. however floop has not managed to get that yet all we've seen is it copied a special defense buff <laughs> exactly so i'm thinking yeah that's uh, mama's bird is a great asset to have in back because it, whether you lead with salamence or uh the uh armor rogue uh you've got a decent setup to to, to copy um However, against a slightly more defensive team with that Rotom um, and Reflect, uh, that's not always going to work out 100% in this matchup. So mm -hmm. we've still got to think about that. 
Yeah, that was interesting choice of Chad not to lead off with the reflect because I mean that's really the only time that you get the chance to put that down is at the start of the match. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he he opted to keep the it's the Magna Zone, right? The Magna Zone sets it. Uh, he, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah, so he opted to keep the Magna Zone in the back, still bringing it, but not leading with it. That was an interesting choice. Because, yeah, who had it? Oh, no, it was actually uh, the Rotom. I went back to look at the other game. Oh, the Rotom has the screens. Mm -hmm. Wow. That would not be what I would expect from this guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We are still waiting uh, on that I, link. I, <laughs> I, assume that our, I assume that they're in a lobby, but they haven't sent the link yet. <laughs> <laughs> let me, um, I'm gonna put up the sensor here. Let me, let me take a look. Unfortunately, they are both deafened, so we can't even go in there and talk their ear off. <laughs> we, we're helpless. We're helpless right now. All we could do is just shout into the void. Oh, there we go. We've got the link. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I copied something wrong. It says not found. Okay, now I've got it. All right, it looks like... Wait. It looks like Hold the game on, has been going waiting. without us. Yeah, they started without us. Let's go. Do we replay? No. No, we're going to we're gonna check out the, no. the, the thing. We, we All right, so turn rewind. one. We had um, Intimidate with Salamence, uh, Withdrawing uh, Rotom Wash, uh, coming out with Pelipper to set up the rain. Earthquake uh, does a little bit of damage. Um... We'll just pick it up from They're here. They're still going. We're trying to catch up. Stop. <laughs> Someone tell the competitors to stop. Slow, slow down. We're still playing. All right. Here we go. Up. That's what Fluke wants with Mom's Bird. Because now we've got double attack uh, and double speed. Oh. Okay. All right. We've got it. We've said it. I would have loved to see how we got there, but... <laughs> <laughs> you can rewind the turns. You can rewind it. You can play it. Oh, we have them yeah. on pause. Hang on, wait. You're right. You're totally right. You can go to first turn and we can watch it in real time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the noise. Okay. <laughs> they were they were so into it. They were just like, let's fucking go. Let's right. do it. <laughs> let's start from the very beginning. Okay. So we're we're doing a bit of an instant replay here. Mm -hmm. Alright, intimidates out. Tyrain is up. Psychic Seed eats it. Mens comes out for another Intimidate. Pelipper comes out for rain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nobody takes damage from Earthquake except for Ndidi. <laughs> Here comes the Dragon Dance. Tailwind. Follow me. Dragon Claw. <laughs> Such a sterilized reproduction. Well, it's it's happening in, in not real time, so I gotta go quickly. Crunch onto wait, why is his why is it named Yeah I Would? Floop is banned from future tournaments. <laughs> uh, There's the second liquidation to take out that Pokemon. There's the Dragon Dance, Hydro Pump onto Mence for some chip damage. And then we saw Flamigo come out, and here we are. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we've got the detect. We've got the liquidation Ooh. onto the mens. Not gonna be a kill. The mens is gonna on. kill. That was a terrastalized liquidation in rain. Did not kill a mens. Still resisted, yeah. And there's Alright, the we've got the intimidate. The clear amulet doing a lot of work for Salamence, but not my mom's bird. My mom's bird has been affected by the intimidate, so yeah. let's see if that actually pulls in work. Flying type here. Okay, comes. we've got we have double screens up, so you're oh. going to see a lot of bulk. Oh, that but the double up on the double Gyarados. Up. Genius double up. Yeah. Oh, my God. My mom's bird is dead. I just bought her that bird. <laughs> and here's All right. Megaman. It's up to Rotom and the Mence. Do you think that this protect will do anything? It Ooh, did. The proper prediction. Why, Chad? Go for the big boy right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That could have been it. That could that that might have been the game. That yeah. might have been the game. I don't even know what Chad was thinking there. I mean, yeah. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's, there's the big boy with four HP. Hit that guy. Yeah, Hit him. Swing you could him. you could take out the Mega Man that's got two times attack or. You can hit the Mega Man for super effect. It's that beautiful super effective damage. You'll oh, want it. You'll you, want it so bad. Uh, you can't. You can't fall for these glittering treasures. 
Oh man. Oh well. Oh, that that uh, game goes to uh, to floop. Let's let's pull him in here. Gotcha. All right, there you are. That's me. Hello. Floop. What the hell were you thinking? I I kind of got you. Indeedy. Into it, I'm sorry. Indeedy of all Pokemon. Have you seen those hips, bro? <laughs> bro I can't believe this. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of that last game? Um, I made a few misplays. Uh, I should have... I should have not Dragon Dance when I saw Pelipper come out. I thought he would Hydro Pump, but mm -hmm. I should have Dragon Clawed instead. Hmm, okay, okay. Is that- that's just the one misplay for the last one. Uh, for the last game. For that's- the last game the first game i made a decent amount that i shouldn't have mm, that was um, that first game yeah we we saw a little bit of like a, a a clunkiness to the team where that that my mom's bird was completely underutilized what happened yeah, i there? i thought uh chad would be pelipper because drizzle is very important for rain teams yes so i didn't want to risk armor rouge uh mm. coming out getting beat up getting taking 20 percent and then uh stored powering mm -hmm. and then dying right after mm -hmm. so that was the main thing i was scared of once i realized chad wouldn't lead uh pelipper that's when i was like confident to press the go button okay all right yeah that seemed to be a big factor is that this rain team was mostly dry <laughs> you could say that for sure Mm -hmm. right. But not Floop in that Indeedy. Anyway. God, you could not say that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Um... But yeah, great job, Floop. Um, I knew that team of yours would uh, do well, and bam, there it did. I love that flamingo. The flamingo? <laughs> my, my, literally my mom's flamingo. bird. Literally my mom's bird. I don't know why you would pick it. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah. It's so good. Yeah, exactly. All right. Great job, Floop. Good game. Um, good, we'll good. be seeing you job, in the next uh, in the next game there. Uh, we're gonna get uh, Chad in here really quick. Oh, he he he's already showing himself out. What a guy. <gasps> Hello, Chad. Hello. Welcome in. Alrighty. Hey, great job on those games. How are you feeling at this moment? Um. I only got to use Thunder like once on a little display, but <laughs> we'll get him next that time. Was, that was your game plan? You you really like measured success based on how many Thunders you got out? <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't have enough time to farm a bunch of Thunder TM, so I only got one uh, going. And... Oh, right, right, right. Let's not forget that you have to have the team in-game for this kind of stuff. That's true. So... It did have to be in-game for it to work. But we don't have to ask Floop about this because we know he no likes the game. Chad, did you have any problems finding like uh, the the Pokemon or the moves you wanted? Is there any sort of part of the, your team that you wish you had that you weren't able to get? Yeah, and uh, like was it ten minutes before midnight last night mm -hmm. when we had to turn the teams? I was in the ocean looking for the little the little electric eel for thunder, and uh, oh no, Pokemon spawn. I I don't know what. Oh. I, Game Freak just headed out for me, I don't know what to say. They said no. <laughs> yeah, they actually heard about this tournament. Kaji uh, can confirm they uh, they liked the tweet for the announcement for the tournament, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so that they're on the lookout for the... Yeah, you saw that 1.1 update? That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Significantly reduced the spawns of E-Electros, Tynamo, and uh, the other one. Uh, uh, E-Electric. Yeah, sorry, Chad. Uh, is there anything that you thought you could have done differently? Uh, yeah, there's a couple things. Um, I had no idea what the armor dude was, so when I saw him <laughs> gaining like plus one plus one with the mouse population bomb thing, mm -hmm. I I might have tilted and <laughs> panicked a lot for the rest of the game. Uh huh. Uh huh. Were so. Going into that, what was your strategy? If you assumed that Armor Rouge, Mega Man, was going to show up in every game, what was your your thoughts there? What was your thoughts for how you were going to lead? Um, for most of them, I just tried... Well, for the first and third one, I just led with throw them to try stuff, reflect and stuff, because I vaguely know reflect is pretty good competitively. And then <laughs> in yeah. the second one, I was like, oh, oh, I'll lead with frame this time. And, uh, 
Yeah, mm -hmm. it didn't work out, so the third one, that's why I swapped back to Berlin. Oh, alright. Hmm. Well, uh, you're, you've got your uh, your strategy in mind. Hopefully it improves for the uh, the loser's bracket, which maybe I'll see you there. In the finals, right? <laughs> in the finals of losers, you're right. Yeah, losers, right. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, see you later. Or in the, right, in the see chat. Yeah, good games, chat. Okie doke. Um, so, uh, thank you for popping in really quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am yeah. Going the the to... real host will return. Well, also, as well, um, I need to take a bit of a five-minute <laughs> break. I've got, a, I've got a meeting that i got to go to really quick. So, oh. we'll, we'll head to the uh, loading screen, and then we'll be back in a little bit. The Sony takes care of business. I we'll do. see you when we get back. Yeah, see you then. <laughs> right. To the loading screen. Okay, we are back in here. Let me pull in the other one. There he is. I can but conversational. <laughs> Sorry, no, no conversations for you. This is important. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, the brackets are updated, mostly. Let me, let me fix this. Mm -hmm. In there. Okay. So that would be. You know, for people saying they threw together teams, they're actually not bad. Oh yeah, these are pretty good. I mean, two weeks. Nice. It's about. It's, I mean, it's a good enough time, I think, to to make a. I, I, I won't say how many teams I made in two weeks. <laughs> I won't say. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, you 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 were waiting for this tournament for a while. I was. You're like, yeah, I'm hosting a tournament. Like, okay. Uh, okay, I'm in. I beat the game in 48 hours. <laughs> he's here. He's here. He's ready. Okay. So we have a link for the next game, which is going to be versus uh, Kelly Dora versus Icy Sky. So let's put this up here on screen. We'll change our music to our battle music. Yeah, I have two musics going on at the same time. There we go. Alrighty, so we are ready to play. We've got Kalidora on the left versus Icy Sky. We've got a Glimora and a Cyclozar versus. I I love Cyclozar. Cyclozar Cyclozar is a good one. It uh, Shed Tail is a scary move. <sighs> Yep, and there's Shed Tail. Right, no berry on it, so it doesn't get any uh, health back. Halifame. I don't. Okay. Mortal Spin. Oh. Interesting. Curious. Um, this has been an interesting first turn for for Kelly Dora. So. What is what is Mortal Spin? 
we uh hey, uh I gotta search up with this move. Oh yeah, I can't type in here. <laughs> I forgot. Mortal spin. Alright. Mortal spin is a free use of hazard. It's a poison uh rabbit spin. Oh, poison rabbit spin. That would make sense why it did not uh, was not affected by uh or not effective on I don't, Lucario. I don't think she knew that um What's it called? If you flip turn, you don't get the sub. Yeah, that's... The sub is no longer there. However, Shamu is now in Palafin hero form, despite what the what the, Game the visuals are telling you. That's something the uh, uh, showdown has not... <laughs> I guess not fixed. Alright, so I'm still liking the looks of this on Icy Sky's side. Icy Ski, Icy even. Is, <laughs> Icy is very, uh... Oh! Aqua uh -huh. Interesting. And a Power Gem. Dazzling Gleam does not kill either of them. Okay, there it is. Palafin Hero. Okay, now that it's uh, terrestrialized, it's there. I guess it, I guess it needed to, like, have an animation change, maybe? Yeah, perhaps. Man, okay. So now... This giant water nuke is on the field. However, Mascarada might be able to do something about it. Let's see. The thing is, this is a hundred. I believe it's a hundred fifty base speed. Oh, but that's and Wait, there's is... the flower trick. I should know Palafin's base speed. I'm using this. It's a hundred base speed. My apologies. And the rapid spin missed. And down goes the flower. Oh, mortal spin hits both. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I. Didn't know that. No. Uh, it looks like it is not 100% uh, accurate, though, because Gardevoir did avoid the attack, avoiding the poison, which at that health is, is critical. It's oh, never mind. I know that item. <laughs> I know. I know what item they have. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, because um, it's not. It's 100% accurate. Well, I'll be darned. I see showing up with. There's no. <laughs> the bright powder. Don't you don't you know the set? I I okay. All that I did, I glanced <laughs> over the the teams that people sent me to verify them. I did not really commit them to memory. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, there's, I'm like, that's, I don't think, really, I'm like, that's that's just a worse rapid spin if it doesn't have 100 percent accuracy. Mm. And then I'm like, wait a minute. All right. And that brings us to game two, where Icy Ski is up one. Let's see I'm if Kelly can come back. I'm interested to see this uh, Wo Qian, I think it is? Yes, that is yeah. Wo Qian. I'm surprised I didn't <laughs> see it, or we didn't see it. It's a Wolver's special attack, I believe. Yes. And then the other one lower is. All right, so we've got one of the lower attack ones. Yeah. Very special attack. So we've got Salazzle out here on screen. Very interesting to see. Seems to be guaranteed poison though. Oh, I see. Okay, good to know. Does that say scaly bait? It does say scaly bait with a frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, we're thinking about our first move here. Oh, Ooh. that is one fast wow. Mascarada. That could is... be Ska. Oh my Ooh. lord. And that's not, that's a natural sash. That is not a focus sash. That just lived on one HP. Oh, wow. And yes, the ability that... here, Tablet of Ruin, uh, reduces the attack. So both okay. Garchomp and Mascarada um, are going to be, going to be affected by this. Does the... Attack drop matter if it flower tricks? Ooh. Uh, I don't think so. That is a good point because flower trick always critically hits. In grain. All right. So the Wo Chen is uh, looking to stay on the field here. That was a looking to probably. It does get the uh, ruination, which is uh, if you don't know, it's like nature's madness. Ah, okay. Is it fifty percent? Yes, it's 50% of their current age. Okay, guaranteed 50% and only 50%. Um, 
All right, so we've got two very defensive Pokemon. Wow. Ooh, the Dragon Rush miss. Ooh, it sucks to feel. Mm. There, yep, there's the Ruination. Mm -hmm. Little iffy on the Toxic Spikes. I mean, if we look at the HP remaining on Muscarata in the back, it's it's full health. So. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Poison doesn't. It's not very useful in a very fast paced game mode, which doubles is. Exactly. And there's a protect on Hikikomori, but Icy recognizes that that's not really the threat here. And they wanted to get rid of Wo Chen as quickly as possible. And it looks like all Callie's got left is the Hiki. And hey, down it goes. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a dead uh, urchin? Mm, I don't know. What, is it supposed, what kind of animal is that? I don't remember. But yeah, nicely done, Icy. Wow. Very clean game. Mm -hmm. He knows his Pokemon. He knows them well. <laughs> he knows what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um, I suppose I can uh, bring Icy in here if you'd like to. If you'd like to chat. Icy, hello. Hello there. Well, you are the big winner of that game. Um, how did that go? How do you? Th how, what are you thinking? I actually, uh, uh, I believe uh, my team might actually be a bit better than I thought it was going to be initially. Um, I just sort of did moves that I thought would work. I don't know how else I can describe it. I mean, yeah, you, you, you picked, you ended up picking the right moves. You picked the right targets. I think um, the team that you've put together here is uh, actually pretty good. Uh, that Meowskarada, uh, um, man, really got a lot of kills. <laughs> it really yeah, there was a fast Pokemon. <laughs> there were some jokes some of my friends of mine were throwing about about the Meowskarada, so I knew I had to put that one on my team for sure. <laughs> well, it ended up working out. It really took care of that uh, Palafin, which could have potentially posed a problem because that's a really strong water type. But man, you had a, the perfect answer for that. Yeah, the Palafin and the uh, Ruin Pokemon were probably my biggest, uh, the ones I was most concerned about. Mm. But yeah, you played your cards right and you overcame, so yeah, great job. Congrats. Very nicely done. Alrighty, so um, I suppose we will uh, be chatting with you uh, in your next game. Sounds great. Very nicely done. Thank you. Boink. Now we're gonna bring Kelly in here. Hello, Kelly, would you like to talk? Hello. Sure. Hi, welcome. So, what are you thinking uh, at this point? Uh, I like poison. I wanted to make a poison team. It's not very good in doubles, but it's fun. I mean, I think that's the most important part, right? As long as yeah. you're having fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I just noticed three of your Pokemon are poison. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. A lot of. Uh, I was gonna say reptiles, but a dolphin isn't a reptile. Mm, it's almost a reptile. I, I was reptile hoping to Jason. stack uh, toxic spikes, ASAP Rocky, but it didn't really work out with Glamora. And I wasn't able to get the TMs I needed to put toxic on like anything. Really? Oh, that's a shame. I, yeah, I thought Salazzle... Salazzle's my only mon with toxic. Uh, okay, I was gonna say I thought Salazzle mm. learns toxic naturally, and yes, that's that's correct. Yeah. So. That's, I'm surprised Glamora doesn't. Yeah, Glamora really should. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate. That I mean, that is one of the uh, risks that we have to run with a in-game team tournament. So if you can't get the moves, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's unfortunate. But well, um, you are still. I had in. a good time at least. Yeah, you're still in. Um, you've got uh, losers to go through, um, so you're not quite out of the game yet. So I would say, yeah, uh, bring that strategy back, and we'll we'll see you in the next game. That Meowscara was just. Crazy fast though. Ooh, big, I was thinking, all right, fast. I got a Salazzle with flamethrower. Shouldn't be a problem. Don't spend a Salazzle. Yeah. Uh, it looks like the max speed set of Meowskarada is uh, 192, which is terrifying. Jeez, yeah, 192 at level that's, 50. Jeez. That's almost nat 200, which is Ugh. a very scary speed set that very little Pokemon can achieve. Mm. So yeah, there, there you have that. As Congo would say, you have it. There you have it. <laughs> and there you have it, Kondeji. Alrighty, but yeah, thank you for uh, coming in and chatting, and uh, we'll see you yeah, in your course. next game. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.
All right. So that brings us to our next game is here. Let's take a look and report that score for us. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're actually um, gonna be doing, uh, we'll do losers next. Um, I believe we are in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, top eight already. Man, we flying through this tournament. <laughs> Man, that's crazy, bro. God damn. All right, and that one is another no show. So let me update that. So it looks like uh, the next um, battle that we're going to be doing here is battle uh, that's in the 11th spot, which is going to be Cole versus Sin Saga. Wow. So I looked at the calcs. You need a base speed total of 130. Uh, max speed investment plus speed to for each natural 200. Mm. Uh, let me Which is say really quick. Fast boy. Yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, Fuse, for resubbing. Uh, gonna become a Pokemon Master faster than Ash. Hey, stick around and you'll learn a lot about what you need to know about the Pokemans. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, but yeah, sorry. Uh, continue, Flute. So, the only Pokemon that can reach natural 200 or higher is uh, Jolteon. Uh, well, Xian Pao, Koridon, Miraidon, Fluttermane. Iron Bundle are all banned in current digital format. Yeah, not this turn. Veriscuta, <laughs> Dragapult, and Electrode. Ooh, so yeah, only the the very speediest of the speedy Pokemon. What's what's the base stat on uh, Meowskarada? Meowskarada's base speed stat is one, two, three. Hmm, that is very fast. <laughs> that's as, that's faster than uh, uh, that's as fast as Noivern which uh, is a very fast bat. Mm, indeed. Alrighty, well, we've got the link for our next game. Uh, this is going to be uh, Cole versus Sin. So let's pop the lid on that one. Change our tunes here. Oh, you know what? I want to do... Oh, versus Joe is fun. <laughs> Alright. You may begin all right so we've got the uh the duo the the deadly duo of kilowattrol and bramble gas that we've seen cole use before um very strong really no reason to not go for it there's the wind power on the brambler and ooh, all right brought mm. down to its sash mm -hmm. uh, i would like to say that uh so Rulich just does learn Shadow Sneak. I would say yes. However, it mm, I was gonna say it may be worth swapping out, but Sin Saga has not really brought anything that can handle a plus one uh, ghost attack. Um, certainly yeah. not Sarah Ledge. Um, so I think it may just have to be sacrificed here. Uh I believe he might trade one for one if it Shadow Sneaks the uh, Kilowatt rule. I, I couldn't think of the name. Mm. However, we don't know if... Oh. Oh. Ooh. Sash. Okay. Brought it down to the Sash. There's the Toxic Debris. Power Gem. Wow. That was a great uh, ally switch. And... That... Huh. Both Pokemon and Sin Saga. I didn't lot. know that Pokemon learned it. Yeah. Hey, there you go. Ally Switch is a fun move, Chicklet. I would agree. <laughs> I hate that move. It is the it, it it's it's fun if you're the one using it and you get a good. Yes, read. it's 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 always it's it's uh you can't play the game button and it's the worst. <laughs> Oh, and the Earthquake does just clean up here. With that Tailwind, Dadon is going to be faster, and we're setting up a Phantom Force, so no time is wasted. I think well, Cole wanted to Phantom Force before the Earthquake came out. True. But I think they probably just, you know, miscalculated hmm. uh, its features. Maybe they didn't uh, expect that to be a, you know, a thing that they would have to watch out for. Um, yeah. 
if it is going into the um, toxicity slot, it will tear a normal. Wide, Wide guard. guard. For the earthquake. I love it. <laughs> oh. Phantom Force into the. Ooh. Unfortunately. And it breaks the wide guard. Yeah, not that it But was... Snarl? Okay. All right. Interesting. I dig it. So. Don't. It realistically only needs to live one attack. Yeah. Oh, smart. Protect. Oh, smart. Actually, very smart. <gasps> oh, my. Oh. oh, no. Oh, that's really bad for Cole. What a protect. This is. Wait, this is a very. Wait, I don't. I think this game oh. just turned her. I think. <gasps> oh. Oh. oh, wait. Oh, my God. Was that a low roll? No way. Oh my god! Oh, holy cow! One HP. Run the game. <laughs> that uh, hold on. Uh, that had that. Oh my! I am flabbergasted. I, I am absolutely flabbergasted at the moment. That was an insane turn of events, Sin Saga, with the, the perfect protect. I don't know about the calculation on if it were if it was gonna live or not, but wow! And and Cole unfortunately killing their own um, Tauros. Sheesh! All right, well that's oh. one up for sin. So we're gonna move on to the next game here. I'm in awe. I wow! I really did not expect that. I thought I thought Cole had that in the bag, but here we go. We're gonna try the same lead from Cole's side. Man, oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I'm still I'm still reeling from that play. I hope somebody clipped that. If not, I'm going back to. Clip that. that was wow. <laughs> Uh, oh, let me, let me just type ready in case in case they don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, wow. Okay. Uh, I th that, that was a narrow, a very narrow defeat for Cole. So I think keeping up the same opening strategy is not a bad move. There were just a few miscalculations along the way. Brought down to the sash. However, the toxic debris is up. Down to the Kilowattral Sash. And Overdrive to get that Throat Spray as well. Hmm. Overdrive. Interesting. So it, it's in, I assume it's a, it looks like an electric type move that hits both opponents but not your own. So uh, yeah. the Glamora is still alive. Die, Aria. Ha 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 ha. Espatra doesn't have uh, opportunities, it looks like. No, otherwise it would have copied that um, plus one special plus attack, one. so it looks like okay. we're looking at a speed boost. So I've seen... Um, uh, like, what does it get called? Mind? Or basically it like protects and substitutes. It gets, it, yeah, it, it gets Calm Mind, Speed Boost, uh, Protect Sub, and Store Power. Lumina Crash. That's its signature Ooh. move. And Terra Blast without even terrestrializing. <laughs> oh, it's Frisk. But they, both items were consumed, so it didn't activate. Oh. Ooh, interesting. I didn't know that how Frisk worked. Mm hmm Well, there we go. Yeah, Sin is still in a good position here. With, both, with two more Pokemon. Well... Now one more Pokemon in the back. I'm interested to see where this goes because that um, Dusty Brambler still in um, in a decent position to perhaps go for a... Uh, Protect. Ally Switch, Phantom Force. Uh-oh. 
that Phantom Force is probably going, unless Cole has made the read of a century, that's probably going into the Toxtricity, which is going to be normal type now. I'm surprised the Cerule Edge didn't Shadow Sneak if it does have it. Because I believe we only saw the Atlas switch out of this Pokemon. Yeah. It's very likely that it just doesn't have Shadow Sneak. Because we haven't seen I... Shadow Sneak once. Yeah. There's Lumina Crash. <gasps> he... Oh my god. Ooh. Cole made the read. Oh. Wow. Brilliant. That's... That's a good read. That's an amazing read. That was a perfect read. I mean, it was likely that Sin was going to go for that uh, ally switch. Not 100% though, so you do have, still have to take that risk of just launching a ghost type attack into a normal Pokemon. But now we've got Iron... But Tailwind Mount. is down, so... Hmm. Oh, wow. Giant Luna I'm Crash. <sighs> oh, wow. And Cole Ooh. just cleans up. Wow. I, I really think that one read totally turned the tables. Because... I'm, I'm surprised the uh, Espoth route sped the Iron Valiant. Hmm. So that puts us at 1-1. One, one. That's... That's a... Oh, it's a very interesting. Or very, uh, that was a good game. Hmm, definitely. The uh, the spots were really working out um, in, in Cole's favor there. Very nice. Excited to see, because I think at this point both players have um, adapted. So we're gonna have to see the final adaptation because this is losers bracket. Whoever whoever's defeated here in the next game is uh, unfortunately out of the tournament. So here we go, game three. And I'm surprised that Sin has done so well, um, only bringing four Pokemon. Um, not only does that uh, affect, you know, your predictability, but also your coverage, you know. Uh, two more Pokemon could be two more answers to a problem that you currently don't have a solution for with four Pokemon. Um, but has been doing great, really. Yeah, who needs a full team? Hey, apparently not Sin. Two protects. No flatter. And a stealth rock up. I think uh, Sin is like, if that kilowatt was on the back, I want to chunk it and break its sash. True. Yeah, now that the rocks are up, there's no sash on the kilowatt roll, so that's a, that's a good point to make. I didn't, even, I didn't think about that. Which is something that uh, at least, like, VGC players don't think about, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which is why Sash is such, like, an important item. Because you can swap a Pokemon at any time and it lives. Mm hmm And you really don't see um, rocks or any entry hazards at all in VGC standard. Um, so you don't really think about that kind of thing happening. But with uh, players who are less familiar with VGC and maybe who are more into singles... Uh, Entry hazards are huge in singles. Singles, you could argue... Oh? 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 What? Why'd it get... Two? Oh, Mirror Herb. Ah. Mm. Oh. I didn't even consider that as a strategy. That's a very... Wow. That's super smart. Holy cow. Yeah, new item, so, Mirror Herb. So, it is opportunist, though. Yeah. Well, that worked out, and I would say Cole is in a great position, um, from what I can see. Goes for the flatter again. Ooh, doubles into that slot. So, still setting up the spikes. Not much more Glamora can do <laughs> than put up hazards. <laughs> it's trying its best over there. It could look to uh, Power Gem just to try to chunk out that Espothra. That's true. Here comes Normal. Now we're flattered. Opportunist again. Oh no! Oh, no. Power gem does a lot. Um, uh, if it didn't go for those spikes, the spot from might be dead by now. But I think, I think it's too late. 
like it. I think Sin realized <laughs> that that Espatra is too scary to lead. Yeah, there's the protect. Oh, and a oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, lives. Doesn't get through. But it the hurts confu in confusion. That was the one hope. Oh no. The one hope that we had. Our second hope is double protect. Sin Saga recognizes that, but it's it's too late. Did not get the oh. double protect, unfortunately. And Despatra goes down far, far too late. Wow, that's... Ha. Ah. And it looks like it's just time to clean up. We'll probably see a... Uh... Sunny day, yep. Sunny day. <laughs> Just to... Earth headlong rush. Mm. Oh. There you go. Well played by both players. G to the that G. Was... Oh. Whew. Oh, man. That was, those are some pretty pretty good games. That was, <laughs> that was intense. Oh, my God. Awesome match. I could not agree more. <laughs> uh... So, uh, as the winner, we'll uh, get Cole in here first. Oh man, uh, let's switch our switch our tunes. <laughs> there they are. Oh, welcome in, Cole. Oh. Now that was a game. That was an intense, intense game. Holy cow! Uh, congrats on winning it, by the way. But man, oh, that was thank nuts. You. I got supremely lucky with an outrageous number of uh confusion procs that that is true like actually like like uh, the the so i finally pulled out my uh my my diarrhea i showed everyone my diarrhea <laughs> mm -hmm. and the strategy that i'm using see grafiki really likes to play with diarrhea so what <laughs> grafiki does is it flatters <laughs> it flatters the opponent which not only confuses them, but raises their special attack. That's the only reason I'm running Flatter, is for the sake of diarrhea. Mm. And by doing that, I get the... I get to copy that. Uh, diarrhea copies that thing and gets the special attack bonus as well. And as well as the first proc gets Mirror Herb, so it's double. So that just, like, allows me to run nutso, because that bird doesn't even get fucking... Uh, what is it? Nasty plot, or like... Oh, it yeah. Oh. It doesn't get nasty plot. It only gets a calm mind, and so I was like, "All right, all right, this will be a nice way to like raise my bird stat and also sow some discord, which actually fucking worked." Oh my god, those those confusions! Mm. And then uh, from there, I realized that the uh, the little you know the rock flower was not really a threat. So I, I just kind of just laid into the other guy. Yeah. In, I, just, uh, I just kept laying into whoever wasn't the rock. In the VGC world, we call that uh, all my friends are dead syndrome. Yep. Mm. <laughs> he kind of I mean, just sits it, there looking at it. The rock wasn't, like, useless. It ended up killing the diarrhea at the end because it had power uh, gem. Mm -hmm. But I, I think Sin just took a little bit too much time to start, like, activating and, like, going on the offensive. Yeah, definitely. So you yeah. were really able to take control of that game. Um, I'm surprised it took so long um, for us to see that um, Grafai um, Espatra strategy, but man, that works. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, so the reason why I even slotted in Espatra, you know, Diarrhea to begin with was because of... I was afraid that everybody was going to be running like a Don Dozo, and... In the case of a Don Dozo, right, it gets plus two to all of its stats. Hmm. And so if I just have the Espathra there, it just it just copies all that and runs nuts with, uh, uh, what is it, stored power. And so I was like, that's the reason I saw that it in there. And I was like, ah, oh, but if no one's running that, I have to have some reason to, like, have this <laughs> opportunist on my team. So that's why Graf Grafiki has the, uh, the flatter. And I was surprised, just as you are, like, how well this works. Yeah, that was a, a great uh, makeup then. Because I was, like, that was what I was thinking, too. Like, I was expecting to see maybe one Dundozo, but no, nobody. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was, like because it's, like, the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. You get the Dundozo, you get the other Pokemon. You don't care what the other guy has. It's about Dundozo, so, like... 
you just you just go crazy with Don Dozo, mm. including that 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 Wolfie strategy that someone posted where you get the the, uh, the fish. Yeah. yeah, you get the fish to like insta. <laughs> Oh, it was it insta die after passing on the buffs, and then you get the co star buff in there? I was afraid that was gonna happen, but no one, uh, no one had the gumption, or everyone was just so polite that they were like, Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, everyone's so polite, haha. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll let them get away with this just as once. Alrighty, but yeah, great job. Um, mm -hmm. I'm my hands are shaking, by the way. Good, go good job, Sins. That was that was a great match. Mm, great, yeah. So, we'll be seeing you uh, in the next game, so good luck. Oh yeah, losers bracket. Let's, Let's go, go, baby. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and we'll bring uh, Ring Sin Saga in here as well. Doink. Hello, Sin. Hello. Well, uh, this is unfortunately the last game for you in this tournament, but I must applaud that you did a great job in in this game. Oh my goodness. That that second game was am amazing. Yeah, I'm so hyped. Game hmm. But uh, so, sorry, I cut you there. Um, <laughs> but I'm so hyped, and and he says that he was shaking. I'm also shaking. <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, like, the first game went according to plan, like with the white guard and everything. Uh, I was lucky that I survived with uh, one HP. Uh, it's a natural sash. Uh, because uh, earthquake was not super effective because of the terrestrialization, mm -hmm. but uh, but I didn't think I would survive because he like Tuctricity doesn't have much defense. But yeah, I I'm I'm glad that I, I even won one fight. Mm. Uh, in the second fight, it was uh, it, like all the opposite of the first fight. Uh, he, he read all all I was going to do. Uh, he read them all, so he read the ally switch. Yeah. I thought he would phantom force into um, into my uh, my cerule edge, so that's why I ally switch, so it, it wouldn't affect and everything. But yeah, he, he totally read me and got me there. Yeah, and I gotta say that was a smart play. That was the correct play to make there, but unfortunately, yeah, that that read kind of uh, made that <clears throat> not work out. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, uh, thank you for uh, for coming to play. Um, we are going to be hosting more uh, in the future, so even though you're out for today, you are definitely welcome back uh, for our future tournaments. So uh, thank you for coming. I will probably be. So thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. All right, have a good one then. Okay. So if we take a look at our <clears throat> bracket here, let me go update that for us. It looks like up next, uh, as we continue through losers, we're going to have Chad versus Callie. These, these are two very interesting teams, right? Because one's very uh, defensive, and one's more a traditional VGC style team. Mm -hmm. um, right, with the light screen and the ray, like weather, and like a uh, Pokemon that built around that. And I'm very interested to see how... Callie's like more defensive team is able to I guess take the onslaught is probably the best way to put it. Yeah. Cause again with like all that uh poison and setup, um it is uh defensive, um but it doesn't have a whole lot of offense to, to kick back, so we're not sure. But, yeah, we should be getting a link sometime soon. I believe both players are present. We had a little little bit of a discrepancy in the chat, but... <laughs> he just deafened. Yeah, it looks like he's undeafened, so I think, I think everything's fine. <laughs> but, man, tell me... All right, you, you've mentioned it. Why 13? Why did you make so many teams? Oh, so... I like VGC, right? Mm -hmm. And as I was playing, I was looking through the Pokédex like, of, like, legal things. I'm like, oh, these, like, two mods seem insane. Let's build a team around that. So I built a team around a combination of, uh, let's see, uh, Sylveon uh, Armor Rouge, mm -hmm. as a more, like, specially offensive focused, uh, Palafin uh, Mens, uh, 
Chen Pao Iron Bundle. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, Pelipper uh, Iron Valiant was also one of my teams. Really? Yes. So if I see a Sun team, I could swap in Pelipper and prevent their uh, Protosynthesis, but I still get the booster energy with Iron Valiant. Oh, smart, smart. Um, with a Hurricane Life Orb Salamence. Ah, I see, with the rain. Okay, yeah. making Hurricane a sure hit. Uh, yeah, a Tyranitar Sandy Shocks team. I love Sandy Shocks. Uh, if I were playing today, I think I would have brought Sandy Shock. <laughs> Wait, well, I couldn't oh, have Sandy, because I haven't it's finished a, the it's game. It's a great poke, yeah. <laughs> um, I made a Torkoal Lilligan team uh, in, you know, similarity to Torkoal Venusaur. Mm -hmm. um, I made a Iron Thorns to Paladon team. Man. It, it's it's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Whew. Well, yeah, you you were ready. Now, did you have an idea of like the one that like, okay, this is the one I'm gonna bring, but I'm just gonna make all these others, or did you like choose from just like the bunch of teams that you made? I hope you know I didn't choose a team until I'm like, wait, a mouse holder's beat up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Ch I, I hope you know. I was like, I was bouncing between them. I made all of these teams in game, by the way. I have all of these Pokemon. Oh, I believe you. You've been. You beat the game in forty-eight hours. I beat it in less, I think. Yeah. You you were just going hard. I mean, it's it's like week two, and I still haven't done it. Granted, I'm I'm saving it for like stream. But I think next yeah. one I'll be done. You know, maybe. A lot of people like taking their time with it, like exploring. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, you know what? There's a tournament coming up. Let's go crazy. <laughs> Let's go nuts. Let's go nuts. Oh, man. But, yeah. Um, I'm excited to, you know, start building in-game myself because, as we know, um, <clears throat> for illegitimate, uh, you know, injection purposes, I don't think anybody's got anything yet. <laughs> so, I do want to play VGC, which means I'm going to have to build them all by myself. Which is, I mean, I unfortunately cannot dupe anymore. Yeah, they did get rid of the, the dupe glitch. Very sad. So, the thing is, you can still dupe with the newer found dupe if you have a duplicate Coridon or a Mirror. I, I saw that video where you do have to, like, have previously duplicated Coridons. Dude, and but then... I released mine because I didn't want an entire box full of Coridons. All of them? <laughs> See, you know what's really funny? You know how, um, yes, I released all of my Coridons because I don't need them because you always keep your ride version. Mm. So like, oh, I don't, I don't need this. Oh, it looks like Maple hasn't updated and can still do. <laughs> you cannot trade duplicate versions. We'll see. Sure. We'll see what you do then is you just make a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of dupes of stuff that you want. And then you can update, and then you can share them, or, or do whatever yeah. you want. Or just get enough is, to... Like, people, people, mm -hmm. You need to update the trade. Yeah. So people are like, oh, can you trade me an ability patch? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Begrudgingly updates. I have, I have like, 40 ability patches, so I'm, I'm coasting. Mm, that's good. Alright, looks like we are just having a few technical difficulties on the other side between the next competitors, but we got time. We're chilling out. Who do you think um, is in the running to take it all? I mean, besides yourself. <laughs> I was, uh, honestly, Kane or Toru? Mm. We haven't seen much from them, but Kane's team in general is very scary. Well, Toru has a very good ability to adapt, right? So if Kane's able to like just blow past his competition, he can win. Hmm. Um, but if Toru can be like, "Oh, this person's doing this this game," and then uh, he can he can change the strategy next. Cole is also a very interesting team because he doesn't have a drought user because the only drought user in the game is Torkoal right now. Yeah. And Cole is only using new Pokemon. 
Alright. Um, I'm gonna have to stop us there because we are ready for our next battle. Chad Thunderfunk versus Kalidora Lambros. I'm ready to see where this is gonna go. It looks like Kelly's team could potentially be weak to a rain team. However, Kelly's got two uh, water Pokemon of her own. That is if that's also if the uh, Pokemon are like Terra Grass, where they can resist both water and electric. Mm -hmm. And then you know deal and some damage rain. back. Yeah, and then rain and obviously rain fires as effective. All right. This round looking like Hoenn. There, they do be a lot of water though. <laughs> Thank you for transcribing that because I'm like, there are literally no Gen three Pokemon. What is he talking about? I did not understand. <laughs> this Pelipper. What do you mean, Pelipper Gen three? No, I just mean like on on the field. Oh yeah. Looks like Chad is. Oh, it guarantees poison. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And the spikes are already up, so Hiki's Toxic Spikes fails, unfortunately. <laughs> so, uh, I wonder what the strategy is I... now. Do we stall? What happens? Because you only see, uh, what is it? Uh, spikes, rock... Okay. Stealth rocks, power gem? Yeah, power gem. From the Glamour, I believe? Uh-oh. Fire type. Oh. In rain. With Fire Gyarados. type in rain. Uh oh, I hope that has to protect. I don't believe Salazzle is faster, is it? Uh, you can hop over. 46? It, it, oh. Oh, it is. Oh. Well, it has a higher wow. base speed, however, I it did not outspeed. That's the max speed Salazzle. No. Alright, but here comes okay. the Palafin hero, hopefully. Please. <laughs> this does learn Ice Punch. Mm hmm. That would at least be neutral against. I mean, I think you would, in, even in rain, you would still want to go for a stab boosted, yeah. Close combat! That reflect, oh. though. And paralysis. Wave. Vanish shock? Inter okay, I like that. Gives the toxicity some sort of offensive pressure. Mm -hmm. Man, though, that reflect has, even in the previous games and even now, has saved so many lives. I. And yeah, <laughs> it's it's quite unfortunate. I wave crashed in uh, hero form. It lived, and I cried. Hmm. That Gyarados is dead. Is dead to wow. poison. I was like, oh, it didn't actually die, but yeah, there, there it goes. So the poison works out. Uh, is Magnezone is still on the Present. in the back. Dragapult in the back. Okay. We're wondering if it it's gonna... the correct play to switch out Palafin here. <gasps> the Draco miss. misses! Wow. Ah. Well, see, now Shamu, it, it, it's down, attack, and it's paralyzed. Oh, we can't switch out. And, Never mind. Yeah, and it's down defense, too, so like, ed like a light breeze is just going to kill that. Yeah. I think... Kelly did uh, a lot better this time around, but Ooh, I don't know. Terra Blast. Terra ah, the paralysis. Terra and there goes Shamu. Quite unfortunate. And if uh, Venoshock is that, uh, Hikamori uh, is only attacking move, then. Yeah, That's unfortunate. Good. So I was going to say, even if you somehow managed to stall out the Toxic on the Dragapult, what are you going to do to the Magnezone? Yeah. So, so good job. Good job on that one. So Chad is up one. <laughs> Palafin Hero, what happened? Paralysis! <laughs> uh, unfortunate. I, I mean, good on Chad for identifying, though, that Palafin is really the threat on Callie's team, especially in rain. Um, but like, again, with that reflect and, you know, the paralysis uh, and shutting that down, um, Chad has a lot of good answers for a big, um, for a big, strong physical uh, attacker. 
So we'll have to see what happens in game two, which is about to start. Broke palafin over your knee? Oh, goodness gracious. All right. So we've got... Ooh. <laughs> the, name it Magnus. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is the first time Chad's led Pelipper. Yeah, setting up that rain immediately. I'm kind of curious as to why he hasn't done that before. It's sort of worked out, you know, in this set, so getting that rain up right away. Ooh, big earthquake. Ooh. Flip, Flip turn. turn. Okay, gets it out. So we're out. Cyclozar, I think it's trying to... Uh... Shed tail, most likely. Yep, shed tail to get a sub for um, the hero. Not a bad strategy, but looking at everything else that's on the field. Oh, that Cyclozar is. Yeah, very Ooh. low. <laughs> Alright, so there's the transformation. There's and the hurricane. It's safe for now. But it's just like you've got two water types on the other side of the field. What do you do? You, if this is a Terra water, I like it may be Terra electric. It could go crazy, but we see it's Terra water, which is not bad. You want to see the stab? Ooh, big that tail. was a lot. <laughs> the tailwind is really not helping Shamu here because yeah. it's outsped now by both the Gyarados and the Pelipper. And there's that earthquake to just finish there's it off. That earthquake, yeah. And a hurricane. Uh-huh. Now It looks like our beat up cyclos are. And Wo Chen is the last Pokemon. I mean, I feel like Wo Chen should have led early. It's a very Pokemon. Um you can cut you can start just doing mass amounts of damage to ruination. That's fair. Um but also consider, I want to see how much a um, hurricane does. That is true. Because it is a damp rock, so we still have three more turns of rain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, see, Kane again suggested Ice Punch for neutral, but I think that Terra Water in rain with like double stab. Soak. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Made it a water oh. type, and now it's gonna be the target of a big thunder. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh. <sighs> and down it goes. That's, you hate to see it. Unfortunate. But very nicely done from Chad, using that rain to wash away the opponent. That was a clean victory. Very nicely done. Um, so let's see if we can uh, get Mr. Thunderfunk in here. Boy, uh, hello, Chad. Shoot, I have time to say GG. Um, oh, sorry. I, <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about messing up and not like getting the whole thing or the game scale. Oh, it's yeah, all right. Okay. But yeah, um, congrats on the victory. You're safe for another round. Um, what? Um, well, we know what your strategy was in there. Um, how are you feeling? Do you think it, it went like it, you wanted to? I think I had like a huge typing counter matchup advantage with water and then earthquake on Gyarados. And just Gyarados like being such a hard hitting like water type. Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, I should have done Gyarados Pelipper in the against Floop, I think. I mean, I, I think it's a pretty decent lead, but yeah, I, I'm feeling a bit confident now. Getting, getting back on the track. Yeah, not uh, not that's, down. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. Still, still in it, even though we're in the losers bracket, we're still good. So yeah, great job. Um, good luck on your next fight, and uh, we'll talk to you then. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, see ya. See ya. Give them a second to say GG because <laughs> Chad complained <laughs> that I pulled them too fast. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right.
Oop, hello. Hello. Congrats. Uh, well, you did a good job. <laughs> I don't know why I said congrats. I got a poison kill. I'm happy. You did. You know, you know what? That yeah, ended I... up working out better than I expected it to. So uh, points definitely for, for that strategy. Um, so uh, as well, like I said to Sim, um, definitely not the last time um, you can get to play if you want. And I don't think I'm going to keep up with the you have to have this team in game. <laughs> Um, so in future <laughs> tournaments, if you'd like to play again, um, we're just going to build whatever Definitely. we want. Awesome. That, that would probably go better. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I probably should have led with Gary come home, considering, you know, grass type. I could have gotten... I mean, it's tough when they're both water flying. Exactly. Because I don't have that. Yeah. So, yeah, even, even with the big does grass. learn Ice Fang, unfortunately. I didn't have uh, the materials to make that TM. <laughs> Oh, we're talking about uh, I, I, who could have yeah, used Gyarados it on Wo Chen, potentially. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. The soak, I was not expecting. That that was a little bit cheeky. Like, you could have just that gone was, for a hurricane, that's... Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, at that point, I, I had, feel I, I feel like if you're running soak, you, like, have to, like, actively, like, want to use it. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> Chad was like, oh, I'm never going to get the opportunity to use this. This is the one time. Oh, man. But, yeah, uh, great. Give me. I'm going crazy just this once. <laughs> Good plays, um, Kelly. Um, unfortunately, uh, Kelly is out uh, for today's tournament, but hopefully we'll see her back another time. And uh, thanks for coming to play. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. So, that brings us back to the winner's side. Because that is a... Yeah, let me update that score there. Very nice. Okay. Um, we will get the next game. They've already got the next game rolling. They're great. They're, they're... Um, so, I'm going to put this up on stream. Um, I'm going to hit ready. Uh, I'm gonna let you take this one for like just a minute because I'm gonna use the back. <laughs> All right, I will. I will go crazy with this commentary. All right, go get him, Tiger. All right, so these two teams, right? Uh, I've seen Toru play with this team before. I have like watched them like crack this team. Uh, Kane's team is very offensive focused, while Toru is more of a balance type. Um, Toru has a lot of defensive Pokemon in Arblovia and uh, Skeleturge with very strong offensive Mons in Gyarados and Haxorus and two relatively good support Mons in Dash Bund and Magnezone. Um, <clears throat> but with the offensive presence that Kane has with Miascarada, Guard Chomp, Cerule Edge, Gyarados, Iron Valiant, it's very uh hard to just sit back and watch uh as like, your pokemon just has to move after move um kane's gyarados has the clear amulet which is a very good item it was introduced this generation if you don't know what it is it is uh an item that makes it so your pokemon cannot experience stat drops um, it is basically the clear body ability as an item, which is very interesting. So it's another way for Game Freak to weaken the use of Intimidate to make physical attackers more viable. I'm back. And also, yes, I completely agree. <laughs> um, <laughs> Intimidate has been very, very powerful. Um, they've already nerfed it by buffing other abilities to resist it, uh, but that was not enough. <laughs> they physical attackers have never been like too strong unless they can buff themselves mm -hmm. uh if you look at pokemon such as mega kangaskhan with the um power of punch the double power of punch uh yeah. Z zacian crown uh groudon which just has immense base stat total and learn sword stance it would even uh, in the later um seasons it would even run white herb to get rid of intimidate yes which is like something you the waterfall flinch oh my god <laughs> and there goes that is King's oh. that you hate to see it very very unfortunate 
losing losing the speed tie and then getting flinched. Wow, that is that's rough. Um even though Kane has tricked the choice man onto the Magna Zone, mm -hmm. uh Air Bloom doesn't benefit Miascarot at all. No, not really. <laughs> uh, but uh, but it doesn't really put Toru back into like a uh, like weak footing either, just because he has no real Thunderbolt check minus Chomp and Tinkerton. Mm -hmm. But he has Pokemon like uh, Ooh. Skeledurge and uh, Doshmon at the back just for two uh, those two Pokemon specifically. Mm -hmm. Which is like, do you predict the Thunderbolt or? <laughs> do you eat it and see what he, the next play is yeah and i think that's a could be a tough choice to make um what does this mean kane <laughs> two years worth <laughs> years worth of what see <laughs> <laughs> yeah i need i need an explanation <laughs> i need the context ever read Every sort of sort of no <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Alright, I, I get it. <laughs> get that I, sword I, out, I, of I, out of here. So... Do you, do you want an explanation? It's a stupid explanation, but do you want... Yes, I, I'd like to know. So, um... The main character, Kirito, yeah. right? Uh, he has a signature ability where he can dual wield. And only he can do... Okay. Um... And I believe in the newer series, he's like, oh yeah, uh, if, uh, if I, if he was in the original game, he would have, like, some random, random dudes, like, oh yeah, if he was in the original game, he would have the dual wielding ability. Mm -hmm. I believe it's, like, for the person with the highest speed stat or something. Hmm. Anyways, don't read Star Online, it, or watch it, it's bad. Um, sturdy. Sturdy. I like it. <sighs> AV. A AV. Ooh. Ooh. Do you know how the Skeleton is just so bulky? It really is. That Pokemon has no right to be in that BV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there goes Toru taking game one of this set. And ever the chat fiend, <laughs> Kane has just been narrating his own battle <laughs> this whole time. I love, I love the side commentary of mm -hmm. Kane. Read a much better series like Dot Hack. I've I've heard of Dot, Dot Hack. Dot Hack is great. I love Dot Hack. I think the only other like MMO anime I've watched is oh crap, what was the name of it? I've I, I only watched a couple episodes of it. Uh, but anyway, next up, let me let me get some non PBR. What what's what's like what's a Pokemon game you want to hear some tunes from? Uh. I'm a Gen 4 Cyrus theme. All right. That's a banger. Gen 4 Cyrus. Mirror B? Mirror B is Oh, my B. We got to save that one for like maybe like winner's finals. <laughs> All right. Evil villain teams are. Prob or. Uh, you want to know who's. Guzma Steam. Hey, Daikon. Welcome in. Also, I didn't say hi to B. Hi, B. Bum, ba -da -ba. Oh yeah. Sword Shield? Yeah, we can play some more tunes. We'll do it like battle by battle. You know what? Now that Gen 9 is out, did you play Sword and Shield, Luke? Yeah. What did you think? What was your overall opinion? I like the game competitively. Ooh. That was a very unfortunate turn for Yeah, oh. I mean, oh, it wouldn't have helped no. if he didn't terastalize. <laughs> but yeah, there goes your now, Terra. Now, now it goes your Terra option, yeah. Um, competitively, Gen 8's probably my favorite generation. Mm -hmm. um, I like Dynamaxing a lot, contrary to what single players say. Um, also, Cerulean. You know that's a... Sturdy Magnuson, so you can look. Yeah, you're. Do you know his signature ability for Sword Edge? No. Bitter Blade. What does that do? 
it's an 80 base power move that heals 50% of the damage it does. No kidding, wow. That is, and it's uh, fire type. So it's fire drain punch, but better. Cool, okay, I like that. Wait, what's the base power of drain punch? 80. Oh, so it's 85 on Bitter Blade, I see. Oh yeah, the Which subway is... battle music from Gen 5, that rule. But, like, this obviously, if you take your time with, like, Gen 8, it's probably more... Gen 5 75? Did they nerf it? Oh, god. Maybe I'm just thinking of it with Iron Fist. That, this Magnezone is strong. It's nuts. Yeah, and with that it's sturdy... Not, yeah, it's not specs either, so... I think Kane's just got a lot of not specially defensive mons out here as well. Yeah. I'm surprised if Kane had guards him with a bat, he could have looked to bait the under. Ooh, and now comes Gyarados okay. again for that intimidate. To protect. Oh. oh. Ooh. And a liquidation. Okay. That is a move. Uh. Garchomp got this generation. <laughs> That's a fantastic turn for Toru. Not looking good <laughs> for Nanazakai. Yeah, I think Toru wants to just sack Magnezone to get a free switch in here. Yeah, because you can't protect it twice, but if you sneak into Magnezone, you're leaving yourself open to get Garchomp, uh, to get uh, Gyarados. <laughs> Like, yeah, Waterfall, Ice Fang, um, just Dragon Dance on. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Garchomp might have Rock Slide or Stone Edge, which is... It has Helping Hand! There's no way. It... <gasps> oh, oh my god! Oh no! I, I, I'm assuming Toru just assumed came with Shadow Sneak again. Yeah, and he went for the... Uh, priority boosted helping hand to at least do something with its last turn, but no, it's still there. Oh, and he eats his energy oh, and he dances. No. Oh no. Oh no, Kane. Oh no. I can't lie. <laughs> He's already given the not to say pain. I, I'm, I'm, I'm closing my eyes. Oh, I don't want to look anymore. <laughs> Oh, that was not even. That was. That didn't even matter. Oh, jeez. Oh no. Well, my, I'm closing my eyes. I'll pretend I didn't see. <laughs> oh. Oh well. Good game, to Toru. <laughs> I've been. I've been all. I am baffled. Hmm. Let's uh. Let's get Toru in here really quickly. Still deafened and oh. muted really quickly. Oh. There he is. Hello. Hey, hey Toru. <laughs> Good job, hey. Toru. I gotta say. I think I did all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you did a little bit better than all right. Um, again, that protect and then the helping hand and then you you didn't die. Oh. I. I. I'm surprised he went for Dragon Dance on Gyarados that turn instead of like Ice Fang on the Chomp. I actually don't have Ice Fang. I don't know if it's good to reveal that, but I, I don't have um, Ice Fang and Gyarados, so oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I actually had uh, Dash Fun in the back, so I was thinking that like, okay, you know, um, I could play a little more, you know, loosely. Um, because, you know, I can get the Dragon Dance up on Gyarados, and then, you know, I can mess around with Magnezone, because I still have the Dash Bun in the back, and I can just play Rock that out. Right? Yeah, it so... also is like a best of three format, where you can play more risky, and then see how the opponent reacts. Yeah, yeah, I think, in general, I was actually, like, I was really, I was afraid, um, that Kine would start with the Tinkerton Yaskarada combo because I don't really have anything to to um to really counter sort of like disruption mm. and I realized that actually like uh Gyarados my Gyarados is like a really good matchup into a lot of his Pokemon so I needed to make sure that the rest of my team would help support like its weaknesses so in the case I knew that you know Masquerada would feature a lot and so what I needed to make sure was that you know I could get in Skeledurgeon safely and that kind of thing 
and then enabled Gyarados to sweep because uh, yeah, um, I was primarily centering my strategy around ensuring that Gyarados could get either one Dragon Dance up or one Howl up from the dash button mm -hmm. and then, you know, sweep from there. Mm, well, yeah. The, the Magna Zone did really, really well, actually. The, uh, I gotta say it did. The modest Magna Zone, holy shit. I wasn't expecting I, it to hit that hard. <laughs> I, I, I mean, obviously, like, versus like something like a Gyarados is going to one shot regardless of nature because you know times four is insane and Magnezone has what I think 125 base special attack mm -hmm. it's like um, 130 I think yeah yeah it's huge yeah it's it's very high but even on like a neutral target that did so much damage yeah yeah I, I, I was I was just a surprise because like I saw it take KO uh the, the one that really surprised me was um the Terra Gyarados because it was only two times weak and then when I saw it take, I was like, oh shit, I wasn't expecting that. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, nicely, very nicely done on that. So congrats on making it to, uh, I believe, winner's finals. Ooh, ooh. So we're, get, uh, we're demolished by Flu. Uh, why am I being seen as the villain here? What am I doing? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> We are, yeah, we're, we're going to go see that fight uh, right up next here. So, uh, yeah, thank you um, for coming to chat, uh, and we'll see you in the next game. No worries. Take care, guys. Thank you very much for having me. Mm -hmm. Now we'll get uh, the fish in here. Badoom, there he is. Hello. Hello, Hello fish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hemlo, you oh. stinky fish. Hold on. Well, I uh, am kind. Oh. I have okay. one question. Okay. Why did you Swords Dance and not Shadow Sneak? Okay, so here's the thing, right? I, in that moment, I was expecting him to expect the Shadow Sneak. And I thought that, you know, I could get away with trying a Swords Dance because then I would at least get a little bit more power for a Shadow Sneak to sneak next turn, right? There's no way I was going to get past Gyarados with Garchomp with a minus one on attack. It's, it's like, you, you saw that Dragon Call, 35%. He had a Citrus Berry. It wouldn't have worked, right? So I was banking on Serilurge to carry but clearly it didn't work out the way that I expected it. You, you, you mind-gamed yourself. <laughs> I mind-gamed myself. I overthought. No, that's exactly what happened. I think the other problem is, though, and I, and I know you were talking about this with Toru a little bit earlier, uh, but he brought out the Gyarados lead, right? And this is something that I didn't really think about until, like, the, day, like the night after I had submitted my team. I was looking at my, um, at my, my composition. Uh, Serilage, Garchomp... Uh, Gyarados, Meowth Karada, Tinkaton, uh, somewhat. Where the fuck Be is my special card? Be yeah, very <laughs> physically heavy. <laughs> and so, I, I, before I actually got uh, the Iron Valiant, I, I was using a Gardevoir. Hmm. And so Gardevoir would have been my, my special coverage. I had this whole setup with like Calm Mind, Stored Power and everything. Uh, but I, I swapped it out because you know, I wanted the uh you know the iron valley and it just made more sense to swap that out right but then of course then i realized shit i don't have anything that can take care of special and the, the thing with special though is that was also the reason why i thought that i could survive the magnus because garros is pretty specially bulky he's got 100 special defense and 95 at hp base right yeah so i thought yeah. that it could tank and i was banking on that but i guess even with the uh, removing the flying type it, it didn't help so hmm. um i know uh it's not wakan berry Aka Berry? Not Aka. Aka the, the one that, uh, what's it no, called? Reduces have thunder. thunder damage. That yeah. is very common on Gyarados. That is uh, Wakanda. Yeah, I should have put that on. Is it Wakanda? Yeah. What? Oh, Pasha is water. Pasha is water. Aka is fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... They all have stupid names. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're weird. Alrighty, but God. you are still in. Um, it's for now. Just just down just down with the uh, the other guys. Uh, <laughs> down, down with the losers. The losers. No, you can't call it losers bracket anymore. That's that's rude. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah. Um, good luck on your next game. We'll we'll see you then. But uh, until then, uh, I will see you yeah. in losers game. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Cool. So if we go here and update our. <clears throat> bracket that would be this so mr floop you are Hi. up next all right goodbye uh, see ya good luck on your next game he's already gone um we can Alrighty, 
looks like uh, for this one, we will be grabbing Toru. There he is. Uh, hello, Toru. Uh, can I get a uh, PNG for you? <laughs> or do you have like a oh. Poogie link? Sorry. Um, hold on, I don't have a Poogie set up. Let me get a PNG. Right, I, I, I should have at least asked this of people before I made this tournament, but clearly I did I wasn't, not. I wasn't like expecting to comment. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Let, let me, let me pull up. Oh, so, Floop versus Icy. We've already got their room up. Pump that up here. Um, somebody suggested Sun and Moon. Um, and for Sun and Moon, we are definitely doing Guzma's theme. <laughs> oh, based. Very based. Hmm. Oh, this is this is nice. I like this. Yes. <laughs> let me let me, <laughs> let me put this in for you really quickly. All right, thank you. Yay! Okay, we got we got a little 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 wealthy Toru. <laughs> stand right over there. Cool. All right, so let's head back over to our game. Take away our thingy. Type ready. Hit the music. Oh my goodness. Every time I open up a new window, like the sound just destroys my ears. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Alright, let's see. Jeez, that was oh well he thought Alrighty, so we've got Garchomp Meowskarada versus the Mence and Grass Palafin Hero. Yeah. I think it's just a counter like the uh, other grass types. Out there. Yeah, correct. Ooh, crit well sorry, it always crits, what am I saying? Yeah, <laughs> I still gotta get Ooh, used to it. Oh no! Bed. That oh, doesn't always crit. Oh he's got the crit. Oh Icy got him pretty good there. I think Floof was, uh, Floof was a little bit greedy going for the dragon dance. Yeah. In the right in front of that Garchomp, that's uh, that was asking for a hit, and I don't know if that crit ended up mattering. It might have. Mence is not the bulkiest in the world. There's the ice no, punch. And a bulldoze, so the follow me ends up too. not really mattering. Mm. There's also the secondary effect of like having speed control as well. Mm. So it's like the, the parapet and the media, you know, one stage slower. And there's another ice punch out onto the Garchomp. And the follow me keeps that on the field. Psychic terrain, so no aqua jets. The Amaroot and the Cerulege. Mm hmm. Let's see, what's the next move? Ice punch onto the. Ice punch? It's resisted. What, uh, I wonder what what the strategy was there. Because Paraffin is a uh, choice, right? Oh! It would have to have been choice Scarf in order to be able to um, outspeed the Garchomp yeah. earlier. So that's why you were locked into Ice Punch, but Bloop still takes it out. Yeah, with the expanding force. Alright, so that's <laughs> kind of came close, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. So I am excited to see game two here because I think it could still go for either Icy or Floop. Icy did get that crit, which uh, I honestly don't know the calc on, so I can't say if that would have lived or not. Expanding force is so good. It is, especially in a double setting because you get the spread yeah. and it's, yeah, you get spread damage, but the damage is still really high. <laughs> cool cat. Well, that's the thing though, because it's like, you get the terrain boost, so that makes up for like the reduced spread damage. Exactly, yeah. Alright, so let's see if Floop can keep that up, or is Icy's strategy gonna save him here? We'll have to find out. <laughs> I, I think, yeah. Oh, no. All right, so oh, we've seen this. Okay. This is the beat-up strategy. Yes. 
But Meowskarada is on the field and can take out Mega Man pretty handily. So I wonder what Floop's option is going to be here. That's true, but uh, the mouse hold also gets access to follow me. So that could also be a thing. Oh, it's taunting. taunting it. Taunting the Lucario. That, um. Lucario just went for straight damage. Yeah. That's interesting. What is that supposed to protect against, I wonder? Oh, the Miascarada goes for... Paul. Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, and there's... Wow, still gets there's... the beat up. I'm surprised that... Wait, wasn't, um... Oh, no, it wasn't faster. So that's what... <laughs> Look at that screen. Oh, God. All right, so... Mousehold goes down, but Mousehold has fulfilled its purpose. And honestly, yeah. Floop is not going to mind the free switch. No, because he's just going to bring in Indeedy. Yep, here we go. And then expanding uh, force because the armor rug is all set up now. Yeah. Oh, wait, was it was it Icy's Lucario that had wide guard? Maybe that's why he taunted. Oh, potentially. And yeah, there, there it goes. That is a very painful... <laughs> and now with this supremely uh, especially bulky indeedy with just all the follow me's in the world a uh, helping oh, hand. It's gonna help it doesn't hand, oh, it yeah. doesn't even need missed oh it's the bright powder <laughs> it's bright powder bright powder god of all oh, oh, if only if only that had turned the tables a little bit more <laughs> oh. <laughs> i think the armor Oak, once it gets set up it's it's very difficult because you put it right next to the Indeedy, and then the Indeedy can just redirect away. Yeah. You know? That was. That's some terrain. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty nasty combo. You, and yeah. especially with that psychic terrain, you can't, you know, like outspeed it at that point with any kind of priority. So that's really. Yes. It's a genius combo, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a re yeah. It's a really strong combo because, like, it all just sort of mixes well together. Like, they have great synergy. Mm hmm. Because the Indeedee sort of sets up the Armor Oak and then protects it with the Psychic Terrain. And then the Armor Oak takes that and then blasts out, you know, stored powers or, you know, uh, expanding forces. And then it's boosted by that terrain as well. Mm, definitely. So, let's get our big winner. Well, not big winner, but... Hello, Flu. Oh. Sorry, you're oh. in here now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I am providing warning to some and not to others. Yeah, why am I? Why am I others? You are exempt. Anyways, we were just talking about your strategy. Um, I love the uh, armor rogue and Indeedy. That ended up working out really, really well for you. Yeah, uh, double support button is probably one of my favorite like cores. Absolutely, I, I agree. To be honest, but yeah. Um, what do you think? Did everything go just about as planned, or? What would you think of yeah. the battles? Yeah, I'm glad I was able, in the first game, I was, I'm was. i glad I was able to show off the Terra Grass uh, Paladin. Mm -hmm. Which is like, usually when people think of Terra Typing, it's like, more offensive. Mm. But that's... Yeah, but, it, was, it was a defensive. Yeah, it was a defensive, because I'm like, yeah. that Miascarada is going to flower trick me. I'm just going to ice punch and get out. Mm. So yeah, smart, smart move. Um, I, I still can't believe I got that turn one freeze though. <laughs> that, that was a little bit silly. It was turn one freeze, turn one thaw. Like nothing yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Like of all the odds, like it, it obviously I don't. Yeah, it didn't end up mattering. But like the turn one freeze, like when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I felt bad. I was about to type sorry, then I saw the top like on. Oh, <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I regret yeah, nothing. Nah, <laughs> oh boy. Alrighty. Well. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's going to be the Tuza U's uh, in the winner's finals, so good luck crazy, to, to both of you. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Flip, but you won't need it because you're just going to blow me away with expanding forces. I can already it's, see it. It's such a funny move. You don't like my little funny move? Oh you, don't my, you don't like my little funny it's family? It's funny move. Tee -hee, tee -hee. You, don't, you don't like my, uh, my sex house? <laughs> oh, God. Alrighty, well, I don't really know who to kick out here. Uh, I guess it would be Toru. <laughs> Since right. Floop, Floop is gonna continue casting with me. All good, all good. Thanks all right. for Yeah, thanks for coming in. And you're not done, so we'll see you in a bit. Yep, yep. Okay.
Do you want to bring an icy? Uh, yes, we do. And sorry, Toru's PNG does not leave automatically because it's not tied to his Discord. It's just. It's just a PNG. <laughs> yeah, there's icy. Hey, icy. There. Uh, yeah, that force sure was expanding. <laughs> it really did expand, didn't it? <laughs> Oh, but man, that was, um, you've been doing uh, pretty good so far, I see, so I suspect that you'll, you know, keep it up in, uh, you know, in Losers, but uh, what did you think? Is there something that you would have done differently, or did something not go your way? Yeah, I thought I had an advantage against that armor rouge just because uh, I had a ghost-type move, hmm. but uh, just uh, poorly predicted everything. That grass, uh, I forgot what it's called, the dolphin Alvin. guy, yeah. really threw me off. That was a... Uh, that was an excellent play. I have yeah. that. I have grass uh, terror typing to protect me from electric and grass specifically. I was absolutely bamboozled by that play. That was a fantastic move. Mm. So yeah, very well done. So yeah, good stuff. Um, you aren't finished yet, so we'll see you. You know, down in the losers bracket, so you can keep it up. But yeah, good work, and we'll see you in your next battle. All right. Okay. Speaking of the next battle. Let's take a look at who we've got in the bracket so far, if anyone wants to see the bracket again being updated live at that link. So there you go. Uh, we will put our buddy Floopert up the next game. Hey, that's me. I'm that Floop guy. Yo, you're that Floop guy? That's crazy, bro. No way. I heard he sucks at Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're lucky I'm not participating. I would have won this so easy. You don't know. <laughs> You don't want to, yeah, because you know my team, because you have to send it to you. <laughs> you don't want to meet my uh, Doodle Grafii and Ghost Terra slacking. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! But anyway, um, our next battle, um, they're already figuring it out, so I don't have to ping them. Um, but that is going to be Kane Nanase Kine versus Chad Thunderfunke. And they both appear to be present, so we should have no more issues. Hyper awesome, hyper offense versus Rain. Hee hee ha ha. Yeah. Ooh. I'm the classic like early VGC <laughs> weather versus just straight damage. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to take a guess, I foresee um, Barascuda working well in Swift Swim. It's that, that Pokemon already has like 206 base speed. Yeah. And it's <laughs> scary how fast that Pokemon is. Incredibly quick. Alright. It has a lot of good coverage moves too, like Trail Run and Psychic things. Oh yeah, not to mention um, Close Combat. Yeah, Man, it's, 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 loaded. it's a very scary, just offensive bond. Mm -hmm. It's a go button. I, I'm kind of upset that it didn't manage to stay relevant throughout Sword and Shield's meta. Um people just started using Kyogre once that was available but funny f big fish the funny fish <laughs> uh yo can God, we play Kyogre. uh black and white elite four theme do you mean my favorite elite four theme ever no, yes. I, the, the, uh, what do they what do they call the four faded kings yeah that's badass that that is the best elite four name we've ever had oh god all right anyway um we will definitely play that on this one um let me undo the sensor hit ready and let's swap our music here god i wish i could have like a title like a, a faded king that shit's hard as fuck bro yeah and i i i think just like character wise it's my favorite elite four i don't think any of them I are like bad one of my favorite things is Catherine, right? Yeah. Um, the assistant for the Gen 4 battle Maison. Mm -hmm. they just, they just uh, brought her. <laughs> they, they're just Elite 4 now. Yeah. It's really funny because she remembers nothing. Yeah. She doesn't know like who she is. It's, she's just vibing. She's just a sleepy girl. Yeah. She's just chilling. Alrighty. So we've got the big lead, Gyarados and Pelipper from Chad versus the Sex Cat and the Sex Robot from Nana Sekai. I don't think I'll, I would not Iron Bill. But I would in DD. Ah, uh, okay. 
So <laughs> it's got a choice band, but Hurricane is not a bad move to be choiced into, all things considered. Especially in rain. Yeah. So didn't quite work out maybe the way that Kane was hoping, but he still gets rid of the enemy Gyarados, which is great to have gone turn one even. Um, so Cause that, no more. Because you talked about it with like the Toru Toru uh, game. That's kind of shafts his team. Yeah, without um, having like an Intimidate in the back, you can either switch out or just keep using t to like a Maniac. Oh my the god. Flinch. Kane oh. gets his due... His due d desserts. His... I was going to say due diligence, but I don't think that's no, the right I, was, I think I was going to say due diligence, but that's not right. Kane gets his, his payback. Not on to the same person who did it to him first. <laughs> Alright, Ghost still Fear dropping breaks. the special attack. Okay. Because, uh... Draga, Draga Bull is a very scary special attack. Mm -hmm. You know, Draco's uh, Shadow Ball. It's also a very good support model. It likes to get reflect. Um, we've seen it in multiple metas uh, last year or last game. Definitely, yeah. It's fast screen setter. It's a uh, fast, just offensive threat. It's genuinely probably one of the best mods that come out in the past three generations. Oh, come on, finish it, Kane. That's a mean. Why is he bullying him? He's too, Why is he bullying you know what? Him? This is just like last tournament where he literally toxic stalled. <laughs> what a jerk. Boo. Boo this fish. Toxic. He's toxic. He's toxic. He's toxic. I legit don't have you anything. Don't else. Have, you have you have waterfall! You had crunch. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you tormenting you're or something? You're waterfall and rain, bro. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't have anything else in this little freaking liar. Gyarados, Waterfall, and Rain. This is actually so toxic. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Alright, let's get this chump. Alright. Chad, you have to win. You BMG, you have to win. Oh, Kane's in the call, by the way. Oh, wait. Are they not done? They're not done. No. Shut up! I, no, 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 deafen again. Yep. No, you didn't hear anything. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Shut up! I thought I thought it was over. That was game one. I didn't remember. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit of scuff. Is a VTuber stream? Of course there is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I think Floop is gonna go for... Not your Floop. Floop? I think oh. Chad is gonna go for the Reflect straight away. Ooh. Oh! the Fire Blast missed! Oh, and the oh, knock Oh, and the one oh, shot with the knockoff! Oh. oh, you hate to see oh, it! Oh, poor Chad. Oh, man. Oh, that's such an unfortunate turn one. And this is the risk you run with moves that are less Fire than 100%. Blast. If it's not 100%, it's zero. Yep. Ooh, a crit. I think that crit did matter. Okay, I don't feel bad for Kane at all. Never. I'm taking it all back. Why are you doing this? What? Kane? Kane? Bro? Ch ch check this man's pockets. What the hell's going on here? This man has a loaded dice, unironically. <laughs> He, he's running a script or something. The, uh... But yeah, you don't want to be locked into like a water type attack when you've got Miascarada on the field. But at this point, I mean, good God. Oh. Uh, oh, my God. Oh. Okay, bring him in here. Get, bring him in here. Get, get, get this man in here. What the hell's wrong with you? You're actually I, so toxic, bro. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> First game you dragon you know, and listen, you could have ended listen, it. Listen, listen, oh please, God. listen. I, I didn't know. I, you know, I just wanted to be on the safe side, okay? Given you what were... happened last round, I didn't want to take any chances at this point. 
I mean, uh, <laughs> they don't believe me. <laughs> Mansplain now. No, but I, I, I will, I will uh, give that this round. It was. I don't, I don't this, know what happened this with round the ice. Was just the RNG was was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> all right, um, show it, sh share your screen. Show us your PC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, no hack, no cheats running at all. Um, no, it's, uh, I don't know. I feel like the, the leads that I did last time were just, I don't know, maybe not the greatest. I mean, for that particular strategy. And uh, I guess, I don't know, if anything, it's just speed wins. It, it seems like that, that's what Yeah, I'm that's doing. welcome to Pokemon, yeah, bro. Yeah, this, this is a BGC, bro. <laughs> yeah. You got the speed, you got the advantage. And then mm -hmm. someone says a trick room, GG, go next. <laughs> well, that's still technically <laughs> speed control. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you said, guys, I, it's a good, it's a gaming chair, I promise. <laughs> I, I was actually um, kind of hard pressed for my fourth choice because I knew that I wanted Meowth I knew I wanted uh, Iron Valiant, and Gyarados was just like sort of a given, right? But none of the other ones really work well. Tinkaton doesn't, you know, a lot of his, you know, options. Well, pretty much every one of his options resists Tinkaton. Uh, Serral Edge would have gotten nerfed in Rain, and Garchomp's pretty much like the only one who has a chance. But even then, he's more like cleanup than anything. Mm -hmm. So it was actually kind of hard to, to pick. But in that sense, it was hard to pick, but also easy to pick because because it limited my options, right? So it's, uh, it's like you know what to pick, but you don't know what order. Yeah. Yeah, and that's fair. So well, your selections ended up working out. So congratulations this on this man spammed a knockoff and killed Thank three you. mons. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, I got choice. I have no choice. I have <laughs> he no had choice. no choice. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, good job. Um, we'll be seeing you next Thank game. You. See you next game. Weep. And we'll bring in our friend Chad. Chad, uh, you're here. Hello. Yeah. Welcome in, Chad. I am. I'm very sorry, Chad. That was. I'm. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm crying at the club right dude. now. It's a player, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, I mean, honestly, that a lot of that just went down to RNG. The miss on the fire blast, the crit on the spirit break that took out the Rotom, that was just unfortunate. Crit unironically mattered. It, it did. <laughs> Through that light screen, it absolutely did. Um, and Rotom's already pretty bulky as a Pokemon. Yeah. So that's that's okay. Uh, my 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 team was a bit. I didn't craft that well of a team. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, it's it's gotten I you mean, this far, and that's no for the no. for the format. I feel like it's you know relatively good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. That was, it was a good rain team. Um, you didn't bring any Gen Nine Pokemon, um, so you get minus points for that. <laughs> but uh -huh. no, I'm kidding. There's no points. <laughs> Only. Oh, I just yeah, I just realized there is no Gen Nine Pokemon on that team. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this is unfortunately what happens in a game of Pokemon. You can roll the dice, and sometimes that's what takes you out. But um, good games. Um, again, this isn't going to be the last tournament at all, so feel free to uh, play again uh, some other time, um, and we'll be able to build our own teams as as much as we like. No game restrictions. So, um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, oh, yeah. that'll be it uh, for Chad today. But thank you for coming, and uh, hope to have you participate again. Yeah, I uh, look forward to it. It was a, a super fun run. Yeah, and GG yeah. super run, and good luck to. Uh... Everyone except Fleet. What? <laughs> Why am I the villain? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. <laughs> All right. Uh, Why am I the villain here? What did I do? Right. What did I do? He didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Let me. I think I turned up Discord for for Toru, and now I need to turn it back. Down. I like the thing is, I literally like got out within the first like three rounds in every other tournament we did. Mm -hmm. Why am I the villain? This is this is my redemption arc. This is my winning boy art sorry <laughs> nope <laughs> and i'm being made the villain what is happening <laughs> all righty but we've got our next players already ready to go i i dig when my participants are on top of things um next up we've got um Coal and Icy. So, this time, what do you think we should play music-wise this time, Flute? Music-wise? Yeah. I think we had... A, do we have another suggestion in chat? Mm -hmm. We had the uh, Elite Four, yeah? Yeah, we did the Elite Four. We did something from Sun and Moon. Uh, you could do a... Versus Chairman Rose. Oh, Versus the Chairman, Chairman Rose, Rose theme? Such a good, that's, that's a banger, Dean. That's the only... Uh, Song in the game that has the lyrics. All right, it, it has lyrics. 
it has a little. It has like a tally, like a like Italian in it or something. Oh, probably Latin. Yeah. Okay. We're ready to go. Curtains are up. Music's on. <laughs> this is like <laughs> very dramatic, like last fight music. It wasn't even the last fight in that game, though. No, it's so good though. Th this is Pokemon. This is versus Chairman Rosen. Uh, yep. Sword and or Sword and Shield. Alrighty. Sword and Shield has banger music. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are seeing the same nasty setup from Cole again. Terra Ice on the Cerule Edge. Mm hmm. Um, resists uh, the blast, so that was a good swap um, for Icy, remembering that he's got, um, you know, a resist for that Ice Terra. And here's a Fire Terra. <laughs> Still resists it, that's but it's still, just that's too still much. Kill through. It's just Holy. too much damage. That thing is a force to be so reckoned fast. with, especially with 1.5 is... attack. All right, and that. Oof. I mean, what can you do? You have to send out that Pokemon. Ooh. Dazzling Gleam. Ooh. Did a lot, but unfortunately, that Tailwind is still up in Gardevoir. Unless it can Unless protect. It pr protect here, yeah. Even then, I don't think it outspeeds. Oh, miss? Oh, air slash miss? Oh. oh but the Terra Blast can miss. Quite unfortunate. Well, that the went. The Bright power Powder did not yeah. come in clutch at that moment. I forgot about the Bright Powder. That would have been. Ah, if only it had dodged twice. That was a really fast match. That right, turn four. I mean, the average length for uh, doubles games is, like, very short. Yeah, it's true. All right, we're already on to game two. Let's see. Um, that was harsh on the side of Icy, but let's see if Icy can bring it back. Uh, I don't. Does Icy have like any like double priority? I don't think so. I don't know. I forgot if Icy has. Um, I don't think Icy has sneak on Sarah Ledge. I don't know if he. Or like uh, bullet punch on Lucario. Mm, I don't know if he's got anything like that, but we'll we'll see. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I, have to, I have to start the game. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, when a lead works, just keep going. So, I'm expecting the chomp to switch out. It didn't. We also didn't Terra. Oh. There's a Gleam. I think Cole is trying to go for that Garnivore. Yes. And I don't think you've really got anything to swap into, because you've probably brought the Sarah Ledge. Ooh, Air Slash. Yeah, that's... Yep. Somebody's dying yeah. there. Yeah, that was... I feel like if uh, it was going for the Garchomp, I feel like losing Sarah Ledge over Garchomp is worth... Because Chomp is a very scary Pokemon. Right. right? Good spread moves, uh... Which is very it's pretty it's a lot bulkier than Sarah Ledge. Oh, Sarah Ledge lived that. It didn't he's in a terror type. Um, why not? I mean you're maybe gonna get misclick? You're gonna yeah, it could maybe maybe they forgot. I mean you're gonna get super affected by Bitterblade anyway. I mean you change Yeah, you didn't hit Ah There there they are uh, in chat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm very confused about that. Well, See, the Intimidate comes out from Tauros, but it doesn't matter for Masquerada. Yep, because it can just use its Dark type move that always crits. So. Yes. Whip. But uh, Tauros does resist it because fighting. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, going down there. And the Raging Bull. That's his new signature move. And that appears to be, what, a Fire type move? Because that was super effective. I believe so. It could also be fighting. Oh. Yeah, you're right, because it is Dark type. I forgot about that. Let's see. There's a tailwind. Let's see. Close combat. Oh no. Yeah. Wow. Big damage. Raging Bull is a normal type. Huh. That's interesting. Does it have it? What? And then how did? I have no. There's idea. no subtypes. Yeah. 
And it's not like its ability changes anything because it's intimidate. Oh, oh, it depends on the user's form. Oh, okay. Oh, got it, got it. Okay. Because there's I water and fire uh, yeah. Tauros. Okay. Alrighty, well, that was a decisive victory for Cole. Oh, that music just ended. <laughs> Good timing, I guess. All right. Well, very well played uh, by both players there. Let's see if we can't... Uh... Was that game one? No, that was game two. That was game two. I don't want to make the same mistake again. <laughs> Uh, was indeed game dose. Game dose. Game numero dose. <laughs> right. uh. Congratulations again on another victory. Well done. Thank you, thank you. When I started this tournament, I immediately saw the two Pokemon stuck out to me as like just intriguing, just from because I looked at spoilers. Mm -hmm. uh, I liked Kilowattrill and I liked Bramble Gas just because they're cool designs i like the bird it's an electric bird it's like a classic pokemon design mm -hmm. it's like take an existing animal give it like some crazy adaptation that kind of makes sense you know stuff like that and then there's just bramble Ghast, which is just a tumbleweed pokemon how can you not like it so <laughs> imagine my shock when they <laughs> both have abilities that like are boosted by tailwind so like i just have to set up tailwind and suddenly i'm fucking nuts yeah, that's, I mean, the synergy on those is incredible. Not to mention, like, yeah. the type coverage as well. Electric and flying yes. and then ghost and grass. It's. That's I literally, very... I, I don't even need the Terra to hit everything. Yeah, that's that's schnutz, if I may say. <laughs> Whoa, you can't say that. That's not your <laughs> oh, word. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's Atlas. Anyway, um, yeah, it just turned out that this, uh, the team that I was facing didn't, have any good answers to that so it was just kind of a uh uh i don't know a uh a tumbleweed i don't know yeah we tumbled on through there tumbling through Whoa. they tumbled all over them <laughs> <laughs> i tumbled all over them. i'm actually uh, slightly embarrassed because uh Earlier in just this last match, I meant to hit the terror button and i did not <laughs> we're, uh, we're like terrible ass i'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> i was like uh oh well, uh oh I was like, why did that not do damage? I was like, something glitched, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, you gotta hit the button first. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, well, uh. I hope you're prepared, because since you are advancing to Losers Finals, you are going to have to play the next game, so keep that momentum okay, going. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. My adrenaline's pumping. Let's go. Alrighty, we'll, we'll get Kane in here, and uh, then we'll... Wait a minute. Not Kane. Sorry, I was looking no, at no. the bracket. We'll get Icy, Icy in Icy, here. Icy, Icy. Sorry, I'm looking yeah, at Losers yeah, yeah. Finals. Alright. You out. All right. Uh, icy in. Hey. Welcome in, Icy. Great Hello. work today, Icy. Very good. Yeah, I was. Uh, to be honest, I didn't expect I'd make it this far, but uh, I did. Yeah, that is, I believe, a uh, fifth place for you. So very good. Yep. I'd I'd like to thank Uva Academy. I couldn't make it this far without them. <laughs> you attended all the classes. <laughs> I actually went to two classes. Um, I, I kind of skipped school. Maybe I should have went to more classes. Maybe I would have uh, known the type advantages mm. and uh, known that I uh, had to play my team a bit better, probably. Well, I feel like that just comes with practice, though. Yeah, and, and experience. So, well. Yeah, I think uh, Colum had a good team that kind of countered mine a bit well. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's just how uh, matchups go, unfortunately. Sometimes you just get bad ones. True, truly, indeed. But, um, yeah, even though that is the end of the line for Icy today, um, hopefully you'll play in a future tournament, because we'd love to have you back. Um, you won't have to make your own team in-game. You can just build whatever you want. So, <laughs> um, yeah, great job today. Um, you should be proud of the work that you've done, but, but good job, buddy. Thank you for hosting. Yeah, very good. All right, moving on. They are already set up with the next uh, fight. So we'll get that popping in just a moment. Um, I think uh, I want to play something from, what's it called? Uh, Pokemon XD. Isn't, isn't that Mirror B? You know what? You're right. <laughs> Perfect. 
I mean, it has a lot of good tracks that are like besides Mirror yeah. B, but I feel like Mirror B is like the most well known though. Oh at yeah, least, definitely. Like, for that, and you know, that's not even his original um theme. Like his theme in Coliseum is much more uh, Spanish and not like electric. <laughs> but anyway, we're ready. We're gonna turn on this thing. I feel like I have. I, 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 uh, there's there's a mod for Coliseum that apparently makes it harder. Oh really? Yeah, and I want to see it. I want to like I know Cole played it, so I want to try it out. But it's also like, uh. I would probably play it. I love those games. Coliseum yeah. and uh, XD. Childhood games the for the best, for the best double battles. Beautiful games. And... Like, I think that might be why I just enjoy double battles so much is because I kind of. I mean, I played all the other Pokemon games, of course, but really my favorites were those two. Um, and there were double battles, so like, you know, just the bonus strategy that you can get from double. All right, we're busting out the Terra out the gate here. There's the Tailwind. We've already got some damage. And a Power oh, Whip misses. That's... Oh. oh, no. Well. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The Tailwind did take a while to get up, so I'm wondering if um, Dusty Brambler is going to be able to outspeed now. It's not... Oh, oh my god. Killed. And oh. it's not dead, but oh, it's paralyzed. Para. Wow, what an explosive couple turns. That was... Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that. That was... Cole is very... Has, like, no momentum right now in comparison to, like, the way the game state is. Yeah. With... With missing the power whip like that and having your Pokemon evaporate to a Shadow Sneak. Yeah, for real. That wasn't even super effective anymore. It was just... No, that was neutral. That was a neutral Shadow Sneak. Wow. But man, okay. Well, yeah, Cole's in kind of on the back foot, but let's see what they've got now because Siebel can... I think they can uh, pull something off here, as well as Dodon. It's not over, but that Quark Drive speed on Iron Valiant. Ooh, a crit. Okay. Sneak. Okay. Rock Slide. No right. damage on that Valiant. Yeah. Flinch, though? Maybe? No flinch. Oh, the, the Moon Blast. Maybe we'll see... I I'm thinking we're going to see Gyarados in the back here. It's Garchomp, of course. It's Garchomp. <laughs> All right. I think it's quite entertaining, right? Like, you can tell which Pokemon people are gonna bring just because. It's just because they're like somebody's favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it ended up working out. I, I keep forgetting that it packs Liquidation now, so. It used to only get Aqua Tip. Yeah. Even though. So I didn't know it got Liquidation until I fought the Terra Water Garchomp. Hmm. Um, and it liquidationed my, um, what's it called? Like, my, my rock type. And I just, like, looked at it, like, wait a minute. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, this is the same battle. Hang on. <laughs> Ready? Oh, yeah. All right. So, that was pretty strong for Kane, but I know Colin is definitely not out. Oh, Chim with the resub. Welcome back in, Chim. Thank you very much, buddy. This is where the uh, adaptation comes in from uh, Cole. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we got. All right, so the good old reliable. Same start for both of them. Yeah, same start, actually, for both of them. Now, is Cole going to try and power whip again is the question. No, we're going straight for the ice. Big damage. There's the Tailwind. Tailwind, plus one. Phantom, Phantom but a sword stance. Oh, this is not good, though. You can't protect from a uh, Phantom Force. This is where this can't have a sneak or uh, ally switch. All right, yeah, you, you got to do what you can at this point. 
But Phantom Force Gar is Oh, goes he in. goes for the Iron Valiant! Oh, but now Dusty Brambler is in trouble. Because we saw last game that even a non-super effective without stab Shadow Sneak is just going to kill this thing. And it already lost 10% due to life order. Yeah. So, that was a tough one. Both of... Oh, wait, I think we're going to get an Intimidate uh, Doodle here. Uh, it would go by speed stat too. Oh, wait. It's, it got outsped. It's Prankster, remember? No, but uh, Shadow Snake's also plus one priority, so it goes by speed stat. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow. That... And the Phantom... And the Dance! <gasps> it's dancing! That double... Um, Intimidate? Intimidate. That saved Dusty Brambler's life. That was really, really smart. Because they were at plus two, and then Sarah Ledge went down to neutral. Plus two definitely would have killed. But now, we get another... Um, we get another Phantom Force here. Oh, and Kane stays oh, in. Oh, wow. That's insane. Oh, flatter? A flatter. <gasps> oh, did Cole bring a spot try in the oh. back? Tailwind's it's gone. only when the stat change happens, not the actual stats. Oh my god, co-host. Yep, there it is, Espatra. Okay, so it seems to be like live when that ability yeah, happens. Yeah, it's the live change, not the actual Not the change. switch in, okay. Yeah. I didn't understand how that ability worked, but now we do. Here comes a protect. Confusion ended, and the oh, flood. wow. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Wow, that's... This is going to be it for Cole. That's that's rough. That's harsh. GG's for sure. Nicely done. Alright, sorry. <laughs> that's... Yeah, that's... Uh, that's... That was. I feel like yeah. if you're Cole, you're like, you win because in the first game, the the first the first turn was very unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, looking back on that turn one, um, losing so much HP on because uh, really what has been supporting um, the Bramblegast is that um, Kr uh, Krillowat, or whatever it's called. Krillowat. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a there's a fake mon called. Uh, Krillowat that, I mean, anyway, um, <laughs> Krillowat, <laughs> um, staying on the field is kind of like what helped support it. Um, like we were saying earlier with that, um, type coverage, um, but Kane really cleaned up that Pokemon because he didn't want that alive for when, uh, Gyarados hit the field. So that was a, a, a good strategy, uh, by Kane. I feel like that's like when you learn that, like, obviously these are all, you know, we're not gonna be like don't watch the game or like you know don't watch a stream because that's kind of like why because mm -hmm. <laughs> you're just sitting there in silence but um that's just adaptation throughout the tournament like you see how a specific person like wants to play their team you're like how am i going to adapt to that mm, yeah and you know like if this were a real pokemon tournament in the pokemon world you can you can spectate a tournament you're taking part of, you know? Yeah. So this, exactly. is, this is canon. Yeah. This is canon. Yeah. All right, let's get canon here. Nanase Kanase. Hello. I I don't I don't even know what my heart rate is right now, but I <laughs> did think that I would be uh, getting a fucking cardio workout just by playing Pokemon sitting in my chair. Man. Uh, but speaking, yeah. of, speaking of Pokemon workout, uh, like the cardio stuff, did you know that uh, professional chess players burn 6,000 calories every time they go to like play a game i've heard something like that it's it's ridiculous because it's like you know all the brain power but also like i don't know it's like the nerves whatever right it's I, insane I got like a small what? taste of that it's it's nuts. yeah no like um like researchers realize that chess players only lose calories while playing chess huh <laughs> because what they what never exercise is what you're saying no it's not even that they don't exercise it's like they lose like six thousand calories it's insane oh like they not like they burn six thousand but they're like in the negative no, no, like they're like burning. They're yeah, burning. They burn out okay. From <laughs> using yeah, all that yeah, brain power. It's, it's insane. I'm not it's use, so funny. I'm not using my own brain power here. For just, just forgive me. <laughs> um, but yeah, great job, Kane. Um, you really, you really pulled through. I was, 
I was kind of thinking that uh, Cole's team would um, have given you some trouble. It's a but... very solid team. It, it is a very solid team, and actually, I was sitting here for like the past, I don't even know how long, uh, well, since I pretty much finished the last round, like, and saw that Cole was going to be the person I was going to be up against, trying to figure out, okay, how the heck am I going to beat that? Because the entire thing is that his, I've been sort of coasting on by somehow uh, off of speed control, mm -hmm. right? with the boost energy and, you know, uh, just generally fast attackers. But Cole also ha has the same thing, especially with the Tailwind. And he beats me on that in every way, right? So I had to figure out a consistent way that I could get rid of his leads. Because if I could get rid of his leads, and that opens up the, the, the room to basically everything else that I can do. So I figured, you know what? The only chance that I have of outspeeding and out damaging is with Iron Valiant. And Spirit Break with the guaranteed special attack drop is so big on that mm -hmm. uh, because then it, it nerfs his Kilowatt Troll too, right? And as far as the other counter for the Bramble Ghast, I thought about it and it's it's very much of a trade, right? But Serral Edge, even with its low defense, it does have the potential to really catch up to and, and beat Bramble Ghast. We, we did see it one shot without it being super effective on a sword stance. I was not expecting that. that was I didn't nuts. expect the unstab shadow sneak even if it was plus two no i, I so didn't expect it do to you catch know it. how uh terrestrialization works uh i have oh does it keep the original type it, it as well? keeps the stab oh okay so, so it was stab yeah okay. so the way it works is let's say your are edge tear types to tear eyes right right you would keep your fire and ghost stab uh -huh. but you would gain ice stab okay but if you I tear see. it into a type you already are so you're tear it in fire your your fire stabs two times instead of 1.5 Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, the more you know. But yeah, like I, I really was just thinking about how to get rid of the the openers, everything else, because it seemed it was mostly physical focused. I figured I would throw in Gyarados and just throw in the Intimidate there. And honestly, I feel like clear Amulet Gyarados has been so big because I can throw it out with impunity and not have to worry about getting my Dragon Dances like nerfed back. So it's it's been very very helpful. Clear Amulet is actually such a good item. I didn't expect it to be so big. Mm. But yeah, great a lot of the new items are very good, like Covert Cloak. Uh, clear amulet stuff like that. Mm. Mm. But yeah. Uh, yeah, nicely done. That does bring you to losers finals. So you're gonna be fighting either Toru or Floop in your next battle. So expect to see me Lovely down there, okay? <laughs> Ex no, expect to see me down there, bro. Please no. Right? Mm. Please no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kane, would you like to stick around and commentate the next battle? Uh sure. I'd be down. Cool. All right. I'll I'll knock out Floop hey, then. Pull me in afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, hello, Cole. Hello. Uh, so, man, that was a very good last battle. Um, congrats on making it as far as you did. Your team really did a lot of work. Mm -mm. Mm. I was surprised by the team myself. I honestly didn't think that was going to be like a uh, a real contender against some of these other teams. Well, uh, I was also expecting something like, you know, floop tier for most people. Mm -hmm. Uh but we everybody's had a very solid team even without uh you know such staples as like psychic terrain and gimmicks like uh don dozo and whatnot uh mm -hmm. as for that last battle i think the only thing that i should have been more conscious of was bramble gas weakness or like physical frailty because yeah. i figured i'm like all right i can live a uh what is it a shadow sneak if i just get rid of my ghost typing but that was not the case so that first round went down pretty bad and then the second round uh i was i simply did not recognize that the uh, the gyarados had a uh an amulet so i could have better spent my turn on something else for uh graffiti to do true but yeah well i've yeah, I mean, I, I did really like, uh, I think my favorite play um, of that battle um, was the doodle uh, for the Intimidate. Um, and getting mm -hmm. off that double Intimidate actually saved the life of Bramblegast. That was really, really smart. I liked that one. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. you did a fantastic job. Um, so even though that's uh, the last battle for you, um, uh, congrats on making it to thank you, thank you. Uh, fourth place. Um and hope to see you. And that's a $20,000 reward. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, the only <laughs> reward right. is for fourth place, so congratulations. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I was mean? wondering, because I thought that you you put up $20,000 of your own money, so I figured that maybe there was a donator who gave out the other money for the other places. There are no other places. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> 
So then the stream's over. We're rating. <laughs> yep. Congrats. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Losing in uh, winners yeah. in loser semis. That's you're yeah, the winner. <laughs> you found. I love I love Mario Party tournament rules. You know what? There's a secret hidden money yeah, block there... on a certain place. You're like going... and if you get that place, you get the money block. Yeah, going down in like fourth place or thirteenth place that gets you the. Yeah. It's the daily double. Oh my god. No. Round round one starting. You're you're the first person in the bracket. That's the money block right there, and you just get money because you got lucky in the seating. <laughs> yep, I just use the. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. But yeah, um, hope to see you in a uh, future tournament because we will be hosting more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, can, oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, in the future tournament, I'll use non gen 9 pokemon trust me Damn. it'll go crazy we'll see grafiki with some other some other people all right and we'll go nuts yeah very right. looking all forward right. to have it. a good rest of your uh, your tournament kane thank you good thank games you. good thank games all righty all right you and me yeah there it is we, uh... yeah we're, we're commentating all right I got a we're, so we're looking at the team right now, right? And so of course this is uh, winners. Was it, would this be considered finals winners finals, or yes. grand finals? Winners finals. Winners finals. And so it's one of the things that actually kind of surprising to me, and like really, in a, like in, in a good way, I guess. And so Toru, his team really looks to be uh, pretty reminiscent of a lot of people's core like story teams, in that he has a solid grass, fire, water core and some sort of other supplemental types as well, right? But despite that, he's been able to sort of hold on for so long through this tournament, making it to winner's finals against all these other teams that, you know, are clearly, for example, if you look at Cole's team, there is this, like a solid mechanic that he was looking to exploit in place. And of course, Floop also, right? He was you know, has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, lots of combined abilities and, and so on and so forth. So I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. Hmm, me too. Thank you for being so uh, eloquent. <laughs> all righty. Um... Yeah, we are ready to go. We've got the music starting. It's such a shame that uh, I won't be able to hear the music on my end, but it's all right. Oh, yeah. here, what if I, uh, actually... Yeah, I don't worry about that. All right. All right. Okay, so this is an opening that we've seen from Flute before. Right? Yes. All right. I'm kind of surprised. Not really. Um, I, uh, Toru obviously knows what's about to happen, um, but mm -hmm. can Toru stop it? Uh, I think it's game. an unfortunate sort of coincidence that Toru ended up uh, sending out two Pokemon that are just so powerfully weak to fire, right? It, the, I, I think his chances are that he's probably going to get rid of one, mm -hmm. uh, and then I think he's probably going to aim for uh, you know, Well, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to. Yeah. Get any ideas, but I have an idea of what he's going to aim for, and then of course there's going to be a switch, right? And so. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. So that's a good first turn for Floop. Um, right. I, I I dig the swap from Toru, but now the defensive support Pokemon is taunted. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I, I doubt it was going like to happen. It might be forced. Yeah. Into another switch. Right? Either another switch, or maybe it's just going to throw off a. Um, it could potentially throw out a. Uh, play rough into the Mega Man slot because its defenses are going to be so abysmally low at that point that even though it resists mm, it, true. it's either going to kill or at least and it. Wow. Well, stored power. There it is. Uh, stored power at this point it would be like what 220 base. Yeah. I. I mean that was I think that was the correct play from Floop actually going for the physical Pokemon instead of the special mm -hmm. one because your physical has right. dropped but your special has not. So that's that's a smart target. I don't know if Although, I Although, uh, Armor Rouge and Serilage, they, they're sort of, you know, opposites of each, of each other. Mm -hmm. And Armor Rouge's entire thing is that it's bulkier physically than it is special, right? Yeah. So either way, if it gets hit by something at this point, no matter if it's physical or special, it's probably going down. So it's a question of how he's going to be able to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Like, what can you do with your last few turns here? Oh, well. Okay, well, follow me, I guess, sort of solves that. Yeah. I mean, follow me... It, it does get um, follow me, so it can redirect, but it's not a bulky Pokemon like in DD. Mm -hmm. So it's it's only got like a couple, two, three follow me's in its life. But well, I mean, given the the speed of you know doubles, I think it's probably not going to be too much of a it's not going to be too much of an issue, right? Because yeah. he's already taken down like half the team. <laughs> and speaking of and he still and Floop sells three, right? There it is, and now he can expanding force for for both sides. Yeah. Kane is covering the chat, but Toru says, oh, it's over. <laughs> 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 yeah, because what do you do? This is this is prime territory for 
a follow me into expanding force. Yeah, there we go. Two follow me's. Right, you can take the heat off your main attacker. Yeah. And just just go wild. It's just. And there really isn't anything that you can do against it unless you have, of course, like a, like a spread attack, right? Like say discharge or something. Yeah. Jeez. And ju there just another follow me, just in case something goes wrong. But that's that's a guaranteed guaranteed win. Now there. follow me doesn't work like protect in the way that uh, you can't use it repeatedly. Right? You can just keep on using it forever with impunity. Hmm. Yeah. Um. We'll do. I think we're just gonna keep up with best of three throughout the whole tournament. Okay. Sounds good. Um. So yeah. That was game one. Let's see if Tori's um, going to be able to take game two and, and save himself here. Even if he does lose, he's not out of the tournament. He's He hasn't touched That's losers true. yet. Oh, I got to climb over him first. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already know how that went the first time we tried, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see. All right, and here is game two. All right, let's see if Floop goes for the same lead. Floop has a couple really strong strategies that he can try, so... Um... And I think that is the part of, part of why his team is so terrifying, because even if one strategy doesn't work well for a particular opponent, he can simply switch around and use a different one that might work better, right? Hmm. I can, he has at least, like, what, three strategies that I can see from this team right now. Yeah. So, we're seeing the same leads from both sides. I wonder, though, is Floop going to still protect and taunt? And if he does, is Toru going to read for that? Mm -hmm. Helping, Helping hand. Helping okay. hand. Oh! Interesting. So... They did. It does feel like Toru might have read into that a little bit. Huh. Well, the hyper voice! That okay, was... the Helping Hand hyper voice. That was really nice. So that clears, yeah, that definitely clears one of the hurdles. He gets rid of the armor rouge, which was his uh, thorn in his side in the first one. Yeah, I don't think we've seen the Terra Normal Hyper Voice yet, have we? I don't remember. No, not yet. I think this is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, wow. That was a fantastic answer, because that completely blows past Follow Me. Mm -hmm. Helping Hand is already out on the field. Yeah. And of course, especially bulky, so... Yep. Which replaces the psychic with the grass number. Oh, it's a life orb. Well, um, I mean, Arbalage. with um, with grassy terrain, then of course, it sort of offsets. Exactly. Terrain. All right. So, oh, mom's bird has to come down, uh, mm -hmm. come out with an intimidate, and only gets a special defense. That might help it live another hyper voice, but I think. That's that's yeah, not going to be Gyarados enough. on the field, it's uh, it's gonna. I mean, even if Gyarados gets followed, Mead, uh, it probably wouldn't, you know, matter too much, right? Oh, uh, when there it, it is, the follow me. It, yep. <gasps> what an incredible the protect, turn reading for the protect. And then, of course, I think at this point, even if there is another follow me, Indeedy would probably not survive that 1.5 boosted. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a waterfall. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it did. It oh, there you oh go. wow, it bolted. it. Oh. Oh my throw god, it's chop. got throw oh, chopped. So smart. Of course, knowing that the hyper voice was going to come out. Yeah, wow. I mean, you could have killed it, but then you spare yourself the um what's it called? And there's the brave bird. And wait, the... what does this Oh, it doesn't have anything else? Yeah. Oh, well, the leech seed might help it a little bit. Oh, and we've still got one more Pokemon, I forgot. Okay, so yeah, it's a two-on-one, -on -one, in which case there it is looking pretty dangerous for Fluke. Yeah. It's good that he lost the fighting weakness uh, against Fairy, but at this point, I don't know how much would help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Unfortunate. there it is. Alrighty, well, hey. Tori taking it back. Round two, game two. That was a great adaptation. I, That was, I think, one of my favorite turn one adaptations in game two this entire turn. That yes. was so smart from Toru. The, the same leads, but sort of manipulating the strategy so that, you know, and, and I think part of it is that did it did matter that Floop also changed his strategy without using the same plan that he did in the first round, and it just sort of lined up perfectly. Mm -hmm. you know, it was like a perfect storm of you know, circumstances that ended up going in Toro's favor. But again, this is why he's in, in winner's finals, right? Oh, yeah, for Even sure. despite having, you know, what is clearly, and he, he said that it's just like story team. 
he has enough sort of know-how and you know, understanding of matchups and strategies that he's able to sort of adapt on the fly. Now I'm I'm super curious what is going to happen turn one now because that was such a reversal of the original yeah. turn one. Like what? Like what do you do? Are we just going to like stack another layer of reads on top of that? <laughs> I mean, it, it, at that point, it becomes like a coin flip for either of them, right? You know, they know that the strategy could go either way. So honestly, I feel like it could even make sense for them to want to switch it up entirely. I know Fluke can definitely afford to do that because he has so many options at his disposal, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, then it becomes a question of whether or not Boru is able to, one, read that Fluke might want to do that, and also guess the correct point, like way that he's going to go about it. Exactly. Wow. Okay, so we go ops for the exact same one. And we've got Gyarados and okay. um, Arboliv from Toriel. Okay, so of course, uh, Gyarados, Gyarados here, I don't think it'll actually help in terms of the Intimidate because of course, uh, Armor Rouge is especially offensive, right? right? But maybe Gyarados is here as a check to, so, uh, sorry, uh, Armor Rouge, even though Armor Rouge is quite physically bold. Mm -hmm. They're really taking their time. I mean, I would be doing the same thing. You've really yeah. got to think this over. Double protect. There's the double protect. Taunt into Gyarados. Oh, so you okay, can't... So that seals off the dragon. Yeah, no dance. dragon dance. But, okay, of course. There's no dragon dance. At which point, I mean, if he's able to, if he's able to do some good damage with, uh, you know, just bombarding the heck out of uh, Armor Rouge with Waterfall and Hyper Voice, then it could make for a good mm. way to clear the field, so to speak. Lives. Okay. Activates that once. There's the... Oh, no! The flinch! And the flinch is going to take... Oh, my God. Is this... Oh, my God. This feels like the turning point for Fluke. If it wasn't for that flinch, he... <gasps> That's... That was it? Yeah. I mean, what, what can you do? Mom's bird can't properly set up. <laughs> no. You've done no damage to the other side so far. That's that's killer. That's that's right in the throat. Oh my yeah. god. That's that was painful. Hmm. Alrighty, well, let's mm -hmm. grab Floop and oh boy, we're right. we're gonna get some raw emotions oh, Toru. here. Toru. Oh Toru, yeah, you're right, you're right. Toru. Toru. I wanna apologize to everyone. <laughs> That was so dirty in the second, uh, the third game. That's... Well, I mean, you know, there's there's a little bit of luck involved, but honestly, a lot of it is, like, I, I do see that it's just good reads and good plays in general, because, for example, in the second round, you adapted very, very well to that opening strategy. Mm -hmm. right? Like, the, the yeah. way uh, I, I always look at it is when it comes down to a roll of the dice like that on a flinch, you've got to think about you're still taking the steps to get to the position where that flinch is going to end the game. So I would say that, yeah, even though that did come down to a 10% chance, um, you really did uh, take the, you know, the first step into that. So good on you for that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Very thank well you played guess. overall. Yeah, I, I actually had, like... And I guess I got I got really fortunate because Flip was actually commentating with Yukaji, but I got a little bit of time to sort of like analyze his team while he was uh, you know commenting on the other battles. And then I realized that um, if he led Armorog and the Mousehold Strat, which he did in in all three games, like I had a few options that I cycled through. And then in the first game, I was trying to bait like a fire attack onto um, the Arbor Liver slot mm -hmm. so that I could, you know, swap into my dash bun and then it would eat the fire attack because it's a new right. fire mm -hmm. and we could work mm -hmm. from there. But, like, that obviously didn't work out. And then, um, you know, on the, on the second game, I used, like, the, the boosted hyper voice because that was, like, the other thing that I felt could have worked. But I had no idea whether that would actually work because I knew, like, I didn't know whether um whether our believer could actually survive you know the plus two uh what was that armor cannon or whatever it's called i, d I didn't know the calcs on that so that was just the hail mary and i, I guess i got lucky <laughs> mm. our believer is very tanky so mm. in, in that sense like your your gamble sort of paid off so i just had to get up for a second yeah. had to let the cat in i was like and the, 
uh, the third game was just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so you, you started off with different leads for the third game. Uh, what was the thought process as to why you decided to go for that? Um, I was actually envisioning that he would swap up his lead. And so I put out the Gyarados there in anticipation for a potential Salamence or Palafin lead. I see. Um, because you would intimidate the Palafin. And then the Salamence has the clear amulet, so then you could bait the dragon attack into it, and then I'd swap that into Dash Run. Oh. Mm. I like that idea, though. It's nice. It is good. And, yeah, that uh, brings you to the winner's side of uh, Grand Finals. So congrats on making it all the way there. No Congratulations. Yeah. Um, Toru, uh, would you like to stick around since Kane will be playing the next fight? Yep, yeah. I gotta, course, gotta get my ass whooped. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Uh, good luck. <laughs> all right. So we'll get Kane out of here, and we'll bring Floopster back in. Hello, Floopert. My luck, bro. That that was yeah. soul crushing to say the least. I saw, I saw, I saw it. I'm like, GG, go next. <laughs> GG, it's all over. Yeah, cause like. Well, when, when you set up, and then the waterfall didn't KO, I was like, oh fuck, the game's over. But it was like, over the other way I, around. I, I saw the flinch, I'm like, I, I lost. I, I hope you know, I was getting ready to forfeit at that moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, really unfortunate. Uh, Arblovia. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta run the uh, cow for this. Hmm. It's, it's a really good Pokemon, actually, but it has low base speed, so you is it? I'm, wanna run I'm, it in a I'm assuming you're max special defense, right? No, no, I'm max special attack. I have some weird EVs. I can send you a post. Oh, no, wait. I might still face you later. Maybe, <laughs> maybe after. Yeah, yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let, me, let me run the calcs on if my uh, expanding force would kill. Mm -hmm. Expanding force. I wouldn't plus be surprised. Two, if it did. Psychic terrain. Oh, yeah, it kills like two times over. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, literally. Oh. The flinch, bro. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so unlucky. Well, I'm always an advocate for playing Lucky's playing it, playing the game, you know? Never give up. You don't know. I mean, that was yeah. the point. A lot, like, when you're on, like, the last turn or you got one Pokemon where there's, like, a 0% chance of victory. Yeah. Um, I still think, I mean, that was a, a, a big, a big hole in your plans. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but... I was like, I, the thing is, um, my armor rouge is deceptively bulky. Hmm. Right? And yeah, I was expecting waterfall to KO it. Yeah. I I don't I don't have max to beat this because I'm gonna beat up anyways. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Might as well. Alrighty, well, you are uh, up next again, Flupert, in the losers finals versus Namase Kine. I will see you guys later. Alrighty, good luck, buddy. Alright, good luck. Alright. Let's get these battles up here. I just have to uh, update the bracket, which again, you can look at by visiting that link. So that is, was that 2-0? No, it was 2-1. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna, don't wanna get that wrong. Alrighty. Uh, well, I mean, you're I'm alone like in the DC. All right. Like yeah, let's. We'll, we'll get. We'll get Cole in here too. Cole, Cole's not talking to anybody else. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, all right. Let's go for the next game, and both people who are there just deafen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be lonely. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I think we got the link already. So let's. Also, uh, Cole, uh, thank you for um, taking it upon yourself to archive all of this with the replays. Oh yeah, I knew no one was gonna do it. <laughs> I would have, but you you did it, so good job. Um, yeah, but you're you're hosting. I am brother. hosting. You know what? Thank you. Um, so yeah. How great would that be if it's like, all right, before we get into the next batch, okay, losers mm -hmm. round five, and you're typing it all out. Mm -hmm. Do you have a um? Do either of you have a suggestion for uh, the music? Because I want to play something cool for losers finals. Uh, Battle Frontier. Oh wait, no, Battle Frontier is like yeah, you could do that. It's like a. Uh, an epic final battle. Someone's final battle right now. Frontier brain theme from like what gen? From uh, Sapphire Ruby, oh, yeah. or from Emerald specifically? Yeah, it was uh, Gen three. Yeah. 
There, there's one from Gen 4 that's absolutely garbage, though. Oh, damn. Don't play that one. Because they had the other Battle Frontier, and people were like, what the hell is this? Right. Yeah, let me change that music then. Oh, Cynthia? We can save Cynthia for... Oh, wait, it is Kane's final. Oh, well, we don't know if it's unless Kane's Kane final. Wins, unless Kane wins. <laughs> Alex. Oh, wait, they started. Are, is it on screen yet? Oh, shh. It's not. Thank you. <laughs> okay, they, they didn't really do much. Either. We're just reacting to a blank tree. Oh my god! All right, Kane, Kane is re requesting Cynthia. I'll turn on Cynthia for him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kane, Kane's ready to just like self destruct right now. Mm -hmm. He's gonna do it for for Cynthia Chama. Cynthia Chama. <laughs> we'll get. We'll give him the power. Alrighty, starting up with follow me. Close combat does not even do half. Wow, that's a bulky. Oh, but it is. Ooh, it lived both of those, right. so now it should get one more follow me. Unless yeah, it doesn't want to. What, it may be oh, a helping hand rock slide. Yeah. I don't know if this mens has rock slide actually. Oh, it might not. Plus, it, it is a. It, there's a fighting type on the field, so. Even with a plus one rock slide, that's not gonna no, you're right. guarantee like a <laughs> two two KO. Not yeah, not a smart true. move. And he might want to get rid of that android though, because of the fairy type. True, could pose an issue. Like, what do you, what do you do for that with this uh, this mens here? So from I, I hope the competitors aren't listening. But from, oh wait, hold on, the move's going. Oh, it's a steel turret target. Okay. So it gives uh, takes it out. Uh, yeah, takes it out. But is there a fire move? No, X is okay. Smart from Blue. That wouldn't have been super effective either way. What was Kane expecting there? That the the shackle might not have done it? Or moon blast actually. It was a moon blast. Yeah, I think so. There's a there's a special attack on that boy. Ooh. All right, we've got non-hero Palafin, so we can expect to see a swap, perhaps. Mm -hmm. uh, a flip turn, rather. And now... Do you think he's going to risk the flip turn? What's uh, Palafin's speed? Isn't it like a slacking, so it's just 100? Palafin, oh, no, uh, the flip turn was is, there. Uh, scarf. I think it's choice. Yeah. yeah I think it's choice. And then it's going to copy the boost from the Ooh. Salamence. Oh, this oh is... geez. Ooh. A choice band! Okay. Uh, I don't know about it. I mean, it's. Did you get <laughs> a choice band? Well, okay, now you drop the attack, but you've given it a choice band. But you gave him the choice band. Oh, no. <laughs> Floop's sitting in there, like, right now, like, bro? <laughs> He's confused. <sighs> I mean. Yeah. He must have been, like, just thinking about some sort of opportunity. Oh, my God. That crit didn't oh. matter. <laughs> yeah. No, it mattered. You think so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Meowskarada is actually very secretly bulky. Even the uh, the video game stats don't know. Yeah, I still think Salamence is lost in Paradise. Even yeah, it's over. One, wow. Yeah. A powerful, powerful game from Floop. Oh, holy moly. Yeah, oh, oh my god. I mean, don't don't count Kane out of there. Kane really did a lot to help Floop sweep him. <laughs> that choice band was very, very good play. I, I guess. I mean, I, I don't know why he wanted to choice it so bad. Well, I think he just wanted to get the clear amulet off of it to be able to intimidate it, but it really ended up even. Yeah, it, yeah, it was a it net, ne net neutral. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that was kind of unfortunate. Uh, waiting for the next right, link did here. Did we get the? Uh... Yeah, hold on. We got to remind them. Remember what happened with Floop and, and <laughs> Chad? <laughs> they didn't send the link and they the were like... The salty run back was so, so intense. They got to like game four or, or uh, turn four. Turn five. <laughs> oh my god. All right. There it is. There it is. Uh, is it Floop's... Oh no. All right. Did they actually... Okay. No, they didn't start. They didn't no, start. No, they're fine. All right. Oh. Ready to go. Imagine you post the link and then the match is already over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It just says floop wins. You're like, what? Mm. what? What happened? Then you get to do the turn by turn analysis, though. It's true. Mm -hmm. Professor Kaji. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Kaji, if you were a Pokemon professor, what uh, what would you study? What about Pokemon would you study? We have like the the moves professor, the evolution professor. Uh, I did see that, and I never really. Uh, you can look at your item. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> um, I was. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh oh. Um, probably Pokemon like synergy or mm. uh, like po how Pokemon can work together or live together. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm, speaking of synergy, we we've, we've already got a. Oh, holy shit! We've already got the swap here. Oh, strike to indeed, sir. Oh, protect the close combat ah, on to the Indeedee with the crit. That was big. And the dragon dance. Ooh, that's rough. I think Kane already realized that a uh, raw wa waterfall does not take out this Mega Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So he he just said, you know what? I'm not even gonna go for it. I'm just gonna make sure this is a one shot. Just goes for the helping. And we hand have the helping so hand, but. Oh no! Ooh. Without that weak armor boost, and, it wasn't ooh, fast enough. Yeah, without the weak armor, it's not fast. Yeah. Enough. Oh my god! And the bird copied the stats. Nothing. Oh, <laughs> zero <laughs> changes. Oh no! This is this is disastrous for Floop. You know, say what you will about Floop, he wins fast or loses fast. You know. True. No, no playing around here. The it's... waterfall. All right. It... Can the bird bring it back? Let's go, it's, bird! It's really unfortunate that without the bird's abilities boost, it doesn't really do much. It's just a bird. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> just my mom's bird. <laughs> like, it's not going to oh, be even man. able to outspeed uh, It's not going to outspeed anything. the Gyarados. Oh. That was And there that goes. Wow, alright. Wow. That's game two. It's all down to this now. All right, uh, salty run back check. Make sure that you post those links. Mm -hmm. Man, this was oof! What a great losers finals. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. That was a yeah, now it comes you know, down to the fucking wire. Ooh. You know what really swung at full pain? He didn't trick the choice band this time. See, that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The game that he did lose, he did trick a choice band onto a physical attacker. That was crazy. <laughs> True. Uh, maybe that's not the strategy. Man. That's not the play. <laughs> All right, game three. Here we come. Shut up. All right, let's see the start. <laughs> <laughs> My brother in Christ, you gave it the choice band. Mm. <laughs> you chose that item for Meowskarada. I do like the consistency with Kane's uh, start here. Uh, mm -hmm, the Intimidate mm -hmm. onto Mega Man to just, you know, weaken it from the beginning. Oh, the immediate oh. turn one beat up. Okay. Uh, he's got to get it. He's He hasn't he gotten has those beat ups off the last couple games and that's really hurting however mm -hmm. he the, better the kill drop, the, the defense drop is also gonna hurt him perfect okay yeah that's exactly what right. needed. that was the yeah. he, he, right play we've gone full circle to where the same setup now works against what your opponent's adapted strategy is mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just adapting upon adaptations mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and all right we have yes but oh I think I know the turn. I'm not going to say it because I know they're listening to us. Yeah, I, I can already predict where this is going. I can't predict where this is okay. going. Smart mm, this is... Okay. Smart swap. This is smart swap. Good swap. Yeah, because here comes the expanding force, the immunity, but now. Ooh. But then how long does it save him for? I don't know. There's no way that that Meowskarada is outspeeding. No, I think we're going to see a follow me here. That's. I mean, that's the only thing that I can that I can see. There's no way that Floop is going to risk yep. Mega Man taking any damage. Yep. I think he can let the Meowskarada rest. He can just kind of like expanding force, take out the uh, the Gallant, and then he's definitely got that bird in the back, right? Mm hmm. Because I don't even no way think he didn't a, bring um, dark, the dark type attack is. Oh! oh! All right, he's taking it out immediate. It's gone. It's dead. It's not even in the game. The Spirit Break. Spirit Break's not doing enough. And that's... Yeah. Helping him. Does this? Oh, oh, that's no. going to be super effective. Oh. Yeah. He terrotyped it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it wouldn't have made a difference. But it's oh. a what a game. Wow. I think the real factor there was that this uh, Armor Rogue, or Rogue, does not have... Um, 
It just completely walls that moveset of the uh, the Andrew. What is it? Iron Valiant. Mm -hmm, for sure. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's get our winner flooping here. Hello, floopers. Oh, I, I I live. You live. You live to see <laughs> another day. That was. I was a little bit scared in the in the second game for you, but you pulled through. You pulled through. Oh, oh my god! Get you out from behind, Toru. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna get too troll though. I can't wait. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Am I again? Am I up again? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's, it's finals. It's grand finals. finals. Uh, <laughs> Loop. It's the last battle. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my man. god. What are, what are your thoughts going into the last game? How did you feel going into game one, two, and three? No think. No. No, no more think. thoughts. It's all. It's all gone. <laughs> It, it seemed like you had this supreme adaptation and it was almost like you had trained uh, Kane into a specific opening and then on that last match you just went back to basics and it was the perfect setup. I hope you know when I lost that second I'm like you know what we're just gonna go with old reliable. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> and you know what that's why they call it <laughs> old <it> reliable. <laughs> yeah. No very nice. So video. really no, no thoughts at all? No. Listen, yeah, hey, man needs to, to keep his strength. He's, he's up again right now, so <laughs> oh, good luck. Did you know that chess players spend most of their calories on thinking? Floop, floop saving <laughs> calories right now. I'm all th I'm all instinct, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ultra instinct, oh, floop. You, you, you hear VTubers like, yeah, I think like at least six turns ahead. I think one turn ahead, and that's that current turn. <laughs> uh, no, no. All right, well, I best of luck, yeah, like, That's new to me. What? <laughs> Yeah. Go get him, Flubert. Have fun, Toru. Alright, and Mr. Nanase Kanase. Hello, that's me. Well done, very well done, my friend. Um, third place. Very, very respectable. Yeah. Great job. Uh, could be worse. You know, we're, we're doing okay. Mm -hmm. um, could be fourth I'm... place with the $20,000 grand prize. <laughs> yeah, I missed out on that uh, cash pool, but you know, sometimes... Uh... Sometimes it just is the way it is. Yeah. Oh well. No, it's, I, I paid Kane half the money to take a dive for splitting. <laughs> I can't. Kane, you have to take a dive. You have here. to win this battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really good. Yeah. yeah. That uh, that third round, that third, mm. it was. So here's the thing. I I was pretty sure as to what um, Armor Rouge's stats were. However, I made the mistake of making Gyarados adamant. Instead oh. of mm. And so even though Gyarados should outspeed at 81 versus Armorouge's 75, I was I was head like hedging all my bets on that, right? I figured if he was gonna have weak armor, you know, he probably doesn't need as much speed because he's already gonna get like four times or whatever it is, right? Yeah. And so at, at that point it was like, okay, if I can just land that waterfall on that like one third cut defense, it's gonna take care of Armor Rouge. But it didn't land because he was faster and he stored power beat death. So Very yes. Harsh. That was that was where it all ended. That was where everything unraveled, well, and so, uh, there was no coming back from that. Wait, Fluke brings up a good point. Are you saying that you were trying to outspeed Armor Rouge after the the speed buffs because there's oh, dynamic wait. speed calc? Speed updates. You mid or no? when out was speed? Uh, Gen eight. You needed to outspeed the 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 mouse. That's crazy. Yeah, dynamic speed. <laughs> Sorry, that that was a sword and shield. That's thing. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sword yeah. and Shield. You know what? This is this is why Sword and Shield is is the worst Pokemon game. They up they updated speed updates to mid turn right as soon as you Come, get the buff. Dynamic it's, speed it's, is based, and it should have been that. Yeah, way it's actually forever. it's pretty good. I like I like dynamic speed. Uh, I suppose in in this sense, in this case, it worked for Flute, but uh, I'm I'm still a little, yeah. a little salty about that. But it's all right. You know, Flute is clearly. I think Flute has a lot more time. You know, he spent a lot more time preparing for this. He oh he yeah practiced a lot more. And so you know, if there was anybody who really like deserves to be in this this position, you know, fighting for grand finals, I, I mm -hmm. would say it would be Flute. Mm. Like, from he's, from he's my observations, thing. like Flute, you know, this isn't a bad thing. Flute doesn't really have a lot of like innate battling talent that is like he doesn't just like pick up and like know what to do but floop has tremendous tremendous ability to like study basically mm -hmm. so he gets his team and he knows what he wants to do with it and then he just starts checking like every possible scenario of like what can possibly defeat my setup here so with with floop it, like he's the textbook the longer you fight against him the better he'll get mm -hmm. yeah 
He just picks up on things way too fast, and unfortunately, I, I don't think I have that uh, same degree of adaptability as he does. But yeah, but you had a very solid, well-rounded team. You went toe to toe with him. What was the total round count? It was like five to six or something. Uh, did we? Yeah, you guys went back and forth, blow for blow. I think both of your uh, both of your matches with Floop went to game three. Well, I mean, I don't know about balance because as as I talked about earlier, oh, wait. clearly, you know, it's yep. uh, I I respect way into phys way too much into physical, and uh, I didn't even realize it. Right. Also, the other thing is, I suppose now that I'm out of here, I can uh, I can talk a little about this. This is something that you actually mentioned to me, and mm -hmm. I was sitting there thinking about what I should do with it, and in the end, I decided, you know what, move coverage is nice. Fuck protect. I didn't put protect on a single one of my Pokemon. <laughs> you may have you may have noticed that I, I didn't use protect like even once, right? It wasn't because I didn't feel like I needed to, it's because I couldn't. I didn't give protect to anything. Goddamn. And so <laughs> it, it literally was, it wasn't even VGC team. It was literally just, oh, here's my story team. I, let's just stick a bunch of like really strong attacks on it and just, just pray and hope for the best. And uh, that, that's where it got. Yeah, mm -hmm. VGC doubles in general. Lunga, lunga. Protect is very, very useful. <laughs> yeah. Um, very, very that, that, powerful. That was probably also where it fucked me over. Uh, good stuff. Um, I am inviting you guys to uh, come and commentate the last game if you'd like to stick around. So stay here. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's go. Sure thing. Um, they're ready. So I've got. Yeah, they're going. I've got our music. All right, all right. Well, I gotta, I gotta hop in here then. Oh, do you have the Frontier Brain? I looked it up. No, we already played the Frontier Brain, didn't we? Oh, did you? I, I actually, I oh, had to mute the stream we, since otherwise I'd yeah, be hearing myself. we almost played it, but then we played uh, Cynthia for Yeah, game. Cynthia. Let me, yeah, let me. Yeah, so me. now you can do Frontier Burn. Frontier yeah. Burn goes hard. I'll, then I'll, I'll have one extra one if we if we reset. Because this is still double oh, elimination. There is the reset potential. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Turn that off. Turn this on. All right, and they're off. It is. Interesting start. Not not the same as before. Mm -hmm. All right. No mouse hold. No mouse hold here. Hmm. I don't know if they're still listening to the to the to the commentary. I don't want to say like, oh, so this is what the best move is yeah. for this yeah. player, and this player I should do this sort of best move. A little bit. <laughs> you got to be like, all right. Uh, I think. What does Mega Man know? Psychic. I think uh, I might have like picked up on one tip from commentary in like one of the other tournaments that we've done. Oh so, yeah, what's the tip? Um, I don't remember exactly. I just <laughs> remember he picked it up and put it down. No, 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 no. Like it was about it my is. my battle specifically. <laughs> we were talking about like the competitors listening in and like getting an advantage. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Is that not, not you like... were listening to the stream and like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> no, sorry. Someone said something really smart. I did not <laughs> learn yeah, anything. Guess your move, right? I did not learn anything uh... from Congo shouting the entire time. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah, Congo was so like on top. All right, here's the first move. Oh, uh... it is. It's so bulky. What are what are the stats on Indeedy? All defense, baby. No attack. Have you seen that thing throw out an attack? Let's see, indeed. This is. I this think one team more, has think, taunt. Right? I think one person brought taunt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I spent. I grinded my ass off to make sure that uh, one of my Pokemon had dark terrestrialize, just so I couldn't get taunted, and I, I didn't have to worry about it. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was very happy about there that. There it is. Oh, oh, there's the, that's the one baked body. Toru was talking about. Oh, that, that dog is toasty. <laughs> <laughs> Although it, it's not going to help much against uh, Mega Man because, of course, even though he's not boosted, he's special, right? And so physical defense isn't going to help much against. Uh, right, right. The, the main thing is that Floop's kind of missing his his. He's missing his mouse. Where's his little mousey pal for yeah. uh, the mm -hmm. the buffs? Like I, right now, Mega Man's just kind of chilling. He's not really a threat too much. Yeah, without Mouse House, what's the strat here? There's a howl. mouse hold. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, here's an expanding force just to get some damage on the board. And it lives oh, the one percent. Holy natural, oh. natural focus sash. Oh, I gotta do the calcs. Was that a low roll? Oh my god. That's that was like focus band right there. <laughs> yeah, the focus band. Oh, I would love to see a focus band where someone just like keeps tanking the hit. I've I've seen that happen so like once in my entire life. It was like a Metagross that had a. Uh, focus band and it lived like three turns in a row that's like that's like evo moment 38 it, it, that's, that's like, like parrying parrying every shot <laughs> all right so down oh my goes. god all right there's the play roughest right. down 
The expanding force. A picks crit. Up the oh my god, that is. That's important. Oil Baroness did not take that hit so well. I remember behind the scenes, Fluke was trying to convince me that this this uh this olive plant is fucking bulky. This was before the tournament even started, and I said, "You're out of your mind, dude." Hmm. And look at that. Oh my god. Although I guess expanding force was also boosted by the psychic terrain, right? And plus yes. it's got stab, so which it, is now gone. Boosted. So that that option is locked down. Floop can no longer spam it. Uh, oil Baroness doesn't... Ooh! There it is. And here it is. The the, the mice were not even brought. Ooh, a D-dance, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, the protect okay. ends up not working. Reading the protect, of course. And, of course, Bo Bo Baroness is going to start healing up over here. Don't think it's going to survive anything, though, unless uh, Gyarados is going to be able to take care of... This is this is pretty uh, exciting. I wonder if Taru's kicking himself for not bringing an amulet like you did, Kane. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the amulet, uh, it, it really, really does help. Like, anything that wants to set up, you, <gasps> oh? it's really good to have an amulet. Oh, oh okay. The, prediction the, uh, the stored power the is not going to do power. That's going to be, like, less. Because you've only got, my, like, minus one thing. Uh, yeah, so I think the reason why I went for that was to avoid the defense drop from armor crash. Oh, but the waterfall, it's dead. It didn't oh, even matter. there it is. The Dragon Claw, not even enough. Not even a two oh. hit now. Citrus Berry. Okay, and that Citrus Berry. And Flamiga geez. once again. The All right, I take thing. it back. I take it back, Kane. You're, you should have gone Citrus Berry. <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly a winning strategy. Look at this. Yeah, like it's it's such a basic <laughs> default item, but then like somehow it just it just works. Wait, the oh. double protect. Just to get more oh my God. leaf yeah, seed boosts, and though, grassy so... terrain recovery. Yeah, just get that HP back up. Just that delicious, oh, delicious HP for the hundred percent on Magnazone, so it now Sturdy's activates back on the Sturdy again. Again. That's okay. so smart. Oh, that's huge. Of course. Now close combat is gonna be able to one hit. Are we seeing are we seeing like a pivot into stall tactics mid fight? Oh my god. This is incredible. I wonder. I, I I seriously don't know what the next move is going to be. Hmm. I mean, Gyarados is fast enough to take out. Uh, My well, mom's I guess bird. With the protect. Double protect. The, the protect double and... protect mirror. <laughs> but but why? It's just but back now in the next turn he just <laughs> double protects. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, he could, but yeah, Salamis would just keep on getting drained unless there's some kind oh, of setup. Okay. The, oh. The dragon okay. claw, the close combat into the magnet zone. Not even a, tr a uh, sturdy trigger there. Yeah. The thunderbolt takes out the salamence. Yeah. And right. that's, that's it. Sense. All right. There it is. Loop with the forfeit. All right. So Toru takes game wow. one. That was so. Oh, man. We mentioned chest earlier, and you could tell that Floop is a master of Pokemon because, much like in professional chess tournaments, a lot of games end in forfeit. <laughs> Dude, these a lot guys of games, they go, yeah. So hungry after this. Oh, be yeah. going out ordering an entire pizza and eating the whole I, thing for themselves. See, I literally, I, I knew about the calorie thing. I brought fucking chocolate to this. Wait, I, I've been eating, was that I've game been two? hammering back chocolate. Huh? Was that game two? No, that was, that was game uh, one. Game one. If Floop, if Floop yeah. was in chat, it's like, that's game two. I'm like, Bro brother, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, game huh? one. It was game one. See, now I'm going crazy. <laughs> It is far from over. Oh, yeah. We can see a good adaptation from Floop because we know he can pull off those adaptations. Oh, yeah. He got big brain. The longer you let him do it, the more he's going to download you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Floop, <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised he doesn't just run a stall team so he can see what your tactics are. <laughs> I mean, it okay, is Okay, all right. Here we have a classic opener. Sex House and Mega Man. Is he going to do the thing? Does he have time Let's to see. do the thing? Ooh, the helping hand. Oh, he's there doing is. the thing. He's doing oh, no. the thing. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I don't think it's going to survive. Where's power go? I I think I know this where that stored power is going. Yeah, the stored power is going to. Oh please! The oil oh. Baroness isn't going to get a chance to fire that off. I think. No. Unless it's no dynamic speed to you. No, the special bulk's not going to oh. save you. There it is. See. What a so great there's, there's turn There's no one. special bulk that saves you from that without boosting. That's a 220 base power. <laughs> with the with the stab that goes up to 330 and then the special attack boost it's it's nuts Toru's already calling it it's over for me yeah on as, as soon one. as he gets the uh, the weak armor off it's just it's done because now all you do is follow me until you're dead 
Yeah. Yeah. And of course, he probably has a second follow me, right? Even if uh, you know, sex house goes down, mm. uh, Dee <laughs> is gonna. The sex house never goes down. Even if you burn down the sex house, <laughs> Dee Dee can just come back and keep on bringing people over. Uh, uh, I would. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> And oh. uh, poor Magnazone, he just has to sit there and watch. He can't do anything. All his friends are dead. Yeah. It's, I think, you know what? Actually, it's Kaji's stream. I'm not going to say this on Kaji's stream. He just has to sit there and watch. <laughs> Thank you. I like to keep it somewhat say-so. <laughs> somewhat? So, don't worry. You're say-so. You're spotless. We are filthy. <laughs> we are fat sows rolling in sop. Jeez. Or slop. Yeah, this, it's not going to help. It's... But what else uh, can you do? Shot. With a double special attack and the stored power, 330 base, it's... Honestly, the matchup back. here is tragic because there's just no dark type. Yeah. One dark type is all you need. Oh, and that's the game. There it is, 1-1. One, one. Wow. All right, if Luke here we resets go. this, uh, we're, we're doing another set, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can. and like like we said, Fluke just keeps getting more powerful. It's definitely possible we could see a reset. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, I'm kind of glad I didn't make this go to uh, best of five. I don't want to do that to oh poor Oh my Fluke. god. <laughs> oh my god. My ass is thirsty. Get some water. Get some water. Moida. Some oiter. There's been a moida? <laughs> a moida? Alrighty, here we go. Well, there, there might be a Moida going on soon here. If uh, you know, either of either one of these guys, right? If they, uh, there have been some Moidas going on with the whole armor roost thing too. Mm. And yes, Zeros. Uh, good question. Um, yes, in VGC format, you have your whole team of six, but you only bring four to each battle. So part of the strategy mm -hmm. becomes which Pokemon do you take? Technically, you don't have to bring six. You don't. Um, you don't even have to bring four. Yeah. Just makes it easier for the other guy to predict, but uh, yeah. yeah, Sin, Sin only brought four strategy. Pokemon. I, I don't think he won any games, but <laughs> Flip, uh, seems to be a little bit uh, indisposed right now. Uh, he might be either just getting some water, he's or he's water. thinking he's about his. Water. He could be thinking about his lead. I mean, the game won't start until. No, he's getting what he said. He was thirsty. Did you forget? No, I, I mean, he's getting water maybe right he now. just said that he was thirsty <laughs> and then decided not to do anything about it. And then he went to bed. <laughs> Crawled in bed. He's like, I'm going to think about this. I'm gonna, let, let me sleep on my lead here. Let me sleep on <laughs> it. You're good. Oh, please. he's back. You have nothing for armor. Don't say that. Nah, Don't on. say that. Oh, the Skeleturge. Ooh. You can't take out both threats, Floop. You can't take out both threats. What are you going to do? Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> I think this is a potentially smart lead for Toru, considering what he's got. Uh huh, uh huh. This is this is the first time we've seen just double double trouble. Usually, there's one guy who you're not worried about. Oh, the Skeleturge, the Shadow Ball. Oh, okay. okay. The Hyper Voice, Sex House, going getting a little bit. So now, out of control uh, there. The follow it, me can only that save double up. Sex, sex House, house has been being able to, uh, to to do the thing again though, because both of those starters on on Toru's side are pretty slow. Yeah. And yeah, that's true. But I mean, the uh, the defense drop, and surely he can't block both of these. So someone's getting a hidden. Mm -hmm. It depends on who Fluke's most afraid of. I I think well the turn already went. So I think if I was Fluke, I'd be afraid of the uh, Skeleturge. Let's see oh, where he boy. hits Go. it. Taking it through time. I love the text. All right, Goes for the is. dirge. That was the smart move. The hyper voice. Ooh. And it survives. Yep. Ooh, it that survives was so close. with 12%. <sighs> oh, this my gosh. Good. And now unless, he has the expanding force. Oh. Yeah, unless something here has a, has a wide range move that's faster. you got to have two that, wide uh, I heard that Gyarados actually gets extreme speed, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. Yeah, that's actually they patched that in during this tournament. They were like, "Come on, Toru." Yeah, that's that's one point one point one. Oh, okay, the protect, the expanding force. <gasps> but what does the protect accomplish? The seed sower. Yeah. Okay. I think. So now he can't speed. hit both. So now he okay. can't hit both. So now he's got. <clears throat> but of course, that's only if um, there's what's it called? Yeah, see, the follow me just steals everything. Uh, and there's no spread. Oh, Snarl! Oh, so oh, close. No, 
Six oh, percent. Oh. That could have been such a huge upset. Oh. That was such a smart idea. It just wasn't oh. enough. And here comes the reset. Here's the reset. Reset. That's the reset. 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 Can we take a break? Let's oh, take boy. five. <laughs> we'll take five, guys. Yeah, take a break. Reset your brains, brothers. <laughs> Holy shit. For, for a grand finals post reset, this this definitely deserves a good break. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll start it up um, in in just a, just a few minutes here. So let's see. Right now it is exactly five twenty. Uh, we'll take we'll take five. Meanwhile, you and me, and the other one, depending on who's <laughs> listening to this. Uh, <laughs> can discuss that ba those battles because wow we yeah that was that was insanity all right so uh the main thing here the prevailing strategy and floop has realized this is just that that armor rogue just it goes crazy mm -hmm. it just goes nuts mm -hmm. what do you oh i, I got a nosebleed <laughs> <laughs> it's I, so my nose excited. is actually bleeding i will be back oh all right yeah like, take care of yourself mm -hmm. But yeah, like really, because Toru doesn't have a lot of answers to that. As soon as uh, you know, Ser not Serilage, uh, Armor Rouge is able to get that speed boost in. There's there's nothing he can do, especially with all that follow me, with all the support from there, and the psychic uh, the psychic terrain, right? Mm -hmm. it's, and the only way to really get it is you know to circumvent follow me by using uh, field like wide ranging moves. But the only ones that I seem to see on that side are Hyper Voice and Snarl, which barely seem to do anything yeah. in this round. Um, Hyper Voice, I think, is... What was the damage that it did? Because it's not... It's really not enough, I don't think, to take out Mega Man in one hit. I think it was protected and then stored powered. Um, uh, if we, I'm, I'm looking at the... Yeah. Well, I mean, so Mega Man did get hit once by the Hyper Voice, but Hyper Voice, I think it's only like base 90, even on a single target. Yeah. And then, of course, you have it uh, sort of spread out more if it hits multiple targets, mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, this so. is what I'm looking at here, and um, I'm pointing it out on screen if the listeners would like to follow along. What I was talking about here is Arbaliva's main chance here to beat Follow Me was the Hyper Voice. Um, but then, you know, with Mega Man's Protect, uh, Sex House takes that hit um, and lives, of course, um, mm -hmm. and has enough time in the next round to actually set up the beat up to where our believer is going to definitely ah, get outsped. Okay. So, right, it's it was the best option that I think Toru had, but Floops play the round that very very uh intelligently yeah the the download happened very quickly this man's uh on fiber mm. not to mention that is a good point that i completely forgot um tandem mouse and um its evolution has friend guard which reduces the damage that your companion pokemon takes by 25 percent. so that's oh, only making mega man okay. you know survive that many more hits um I don't think that, uh, I mean, it wasn't on the field, so the Snarl, you know, Snarl did full damage, right. and it just didn't kill, uh, so that was unfortunate, but yeah, that's, I mean, just another brilliant part of uh, Floop's strategy that has really been, has really been knocking Toru around. I mean, Floop has uh, definitely been playing the most out of everybody in his tournament i think uh, he mentioned something about how he created like 13 different teams he did he made that, uh, 13 you just teams. swap around you know to, to play test with people and it's just like you know with that amount of versatility yeah it's uh he's he's thought of what he was going to do he has a clear plan and he's it's just about executing and clearly he's able to do it mm. grinded to 1700 on the vgc ladder before the tournament 1700 oh that is not <laughs> insignificant <laughs> Jeepers creepers, dude. Yeah, everybody else uh, out here, you know, was just finishing their their Boy Scouts, whereas uh, Floop already came back from his first deployment. Mm. Now we can talk about Toru too, because um, even though I haven't had the opportunity to spend a lot of time with Toru, simply because of the time difference, U.S. versus mm. uh, Australia, um, Toru is a very experienced VGC player. Um, very. And you know, he's done his own VGC streams. Um, and, I mean, just 
for real. Uh, smart, experienced. Um, I am, you know, not surprised at all that uh, Toru made it to grand finals uh, on the winner's side. Um, so it really, I mean, does come down to a very experienced uh, BGC player. And Flu has his own experience with BGC too. I think that's quickly become his uh, favorite uh, format for competitive Pokemon. Um, Interesting. So Fluke's been doing a lot of research. Um, Toru's just got a lot of uh, knowledge behind him. Um, so I, I honestly could not have asked for a better, um, <laughs> better final, uh, final battle, because we're even getting yeah. into the reset. The so the thing with Toru is of, of course oh. he don't forget that Toru's already beaten Fluke once. This is that's why Fluke was sent to losers, right? And that's why he had to do the reset, right? So clearly he, he he's able of doing that if Fluke sort of I guess slips up you know in terms of his strategy right but like again as I've mentioned before like one of the things that's been really impressive about Toro is that his team is a story team it was not crafted specifically for VGC doubles he simply put VGC moves on his team that he had in his game and so that's you know being able to make it to finals and not just make it to finals but also hold his own and send Fluke who had a custom crafted team specifically for this tournament two losers is I think very very important mm. in terms of uh, looking at like, his skills as, as a master. Also, I, I apparently have forgotten right, Floop corrected me. Uh, welcome back. Uh, and apparently Floop uh, corrected me in chat. Uh, apparently he's been playing VDC since Gen 5. And, um, That's a lot yeah, of he, he goes nuts. I, didn't, yeah, I did not he, remember. He's done that. a lot of stuff. He's been back since Weather Wars was the fucking the, the most oppressive strategy and like everyone was doing it. Dude, how old was Floop? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's like, like 10 and calculating <laughs> calculating yeah, shifting gen 5 yeah. well I mean I, gen 5 was like 10 years ago All right, uh, I'm just gonna go grab a thing yeah go for it back. oh yeah I was gonna grab snacks too but then my nose started bleeding damn you should have just snacked on the blood yeah I, you know I, I'm not opposed I like the taste of blood <laughs> so sue me Damn. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say, have you ever tasted your own uh, blood? Of course I have. Uh, it's yeah, it's delicious. It's, it's metallic, uh, in in a way. Everyone likes their own brand, you know. I I don't. I, I don't care for my own blood. I don't like tasting it. What? No. Why not? It, it it sets off a alarm in my head. You know that like okay something's wrong. You should not be bleeding. Why are you bleeding? <laughs> What do you mean? What if you like scratch? What if you like scrape your hand and you're just like, oh, let me do it, and you like just put some saliva on that? I don't, I don't, I no. <laughs> All right. Wow. All right, we're 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 moving on uh, to uh, our game one, technically game four. Uh, this is our reset. Both of our competitors are now in the losers bracket. This is the final set of the night. All right. Let's see how it goes. Let's see. I can't wait for Mousehold Armor Rouge versus uh, Gyarados uh, Olive Oil. Mm -hmm. uh, you, as you can tell, I know many of the Pokemon by name. Yes. Okay, Mousehold. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, I was so close. Okay. So close. Three out of four. Let's see. Hatchers, no. Now, Hatchers Hacker could be Man. interesting as a, yeah. as a wall breaker, right? Does it not have um, Mold Breaker? So does that negate Friend Guard? I feel like it might negate uh, Friend Guard. It, it sounds like it would, right? Because it goes past I don't it know. I think so it hits Pokemon regardless of the Pokemon's own ability. I don't uh, think it is going to... That makes sense. ...negate Friend Guard. Mm. Let's see. I can actually just look it up, see if anyone's... Oh, hold on. There's a move. Oh, boy. Here comes the beat up. All right, all right. We're gonna have to wait a little bit while the beat up takes place. Yeah. Well, I'm wondering though, maybe he did attack into Oil Baroness, and then the Haxorus is gonna come. No, he made oh. the wrong protect. <gasps> oh, Ooh, there it is. What an incredible target from Blue! Holy cow. Loop is identifying these threats. So apparently, no one has investigated whether a friend guard negates a mold breaker. Interesting. Yep. Follow me. All right. Well, we're seeing where this match is going. 
Oh, Floop with the early <laughs> GG. Do you think that's BM? A little bit, but hey, maybe he's feeling himself. True, true. There, there's... All right, well, we know who's the next target. <laughs> there's no um, rules on sportsmanship. And that, what? Oh, that's already over. There it is. There it is. Wow. It, it really does feel like this is something that uh, would be very, very hard to come back from. You can't see it behind Kane, but Floop says he screamed turn one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that was fast. And that's just how quickly things can snowball in BGC. That's, that's just the way things go. To be fair, that was... I don't even know if, I, if, if that is a read. That might have just been, you know, a lucky target. Threat assessment. Yeah. Hmm. Understanding what has the potential to kill versus what doesn't. Yeah, plus, I mean, just from Boop's perspective, you're like, oh, he brought a Haxorus. Why did he bring that Haxorus? Something's up with that thing. I should yeah. kill it. Mm -hmm. it's not, and it's not a defensive uh, mod, so you could take it out immediately. <laughs> See, something right. with... Uh, is it uh, unaware or is it oblivious? Unaware. Unaware, unaware. unaware. Uh, ignores stat changes. Right. Now... Uh, so, so the problem is that it's not going to help because the main move that he's using is stored power, which is based off of the boost that you have. So even if you're ignoring the special attack increase, stored power is still firing off a base 220 move. Mm, wow. So. All right. Same. Same intro. This is tournament game for Floop. If Floop takes this victory, that's that's a wrap. So I'm kind of surprised that we saw the same lead from Toru. Yeah, no I mean, maybe he's got a plan up his sleeve. He's got something different. Uh, well, no protect. There's Megan no Yen's protect. Move next. So yeah. this could mean one of two things is that they're both going to die now. Um, that means somebody is going to get a hit off oh. and it's oil berries. And it's just not enough. Of course, yeah. Friend yeah. guard is, is really putting in the work here. And of course, here's going to be the uh, so the follow me. You could helping hand with the dog, but you're not gonna live with uh, mm -hmm. live if you don't protect. Yeah, I, I don't know what the strategy here is. Unfortunately, there's no priority on this team. Even if there was, we've got psychic terrain up. Oh, there's and the then there's the indeed. There is the protect. The protect. But the expanding, expanding force, force dead. Yeah, that's, man, that's it. Yep, it, it, it looks like Toru is out of options. Unfortunately, even with two Pokemon wow. left, there's there's no way around it. The Mega Man strategy was just far too much. Loop is your week two tournament uh, champion. The very first. Foxy's all around. Very good job, hooray! Of course, I think uh, Toru did fight and compete very, very well, especially considering the odds and the, the sheer magnitude of the team he was fighting against. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, um, what say we get our, our boy in here? Yeah, get get him in here. Oh, Flooper into agony. Congratulations. Oh, You've just won the very first Kaji Oniyama Pokemon tournament. How do you feel? I, I hope I... That the first game I or the the first reset game I ought to run to be screen. <laughs> <laughs> that was the perfect so, turn. What one. was the screen? Uh, was I, the... He, he protected the Arblovia and I killed the Haxers and I was like, that's the perfect turn one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a, a victory screen. Yes. Uh, oh my god. So you decided you clearly chose to do the Haxers instead of Arblovia. Uh, yeah. What what was the reason why you because looked at the Haxers? I and... knew that. Haxorus probably it learns bulldoze right so it wants to speed control okay yes um and Haxorus is a very strong physical mon so and i'm minus four mm -hmm. on the fence so Fair. it's going to kill me um and i knew the hyper voice wouldn't kill just from the previous set so i i wasn't scared of the arbor mm. it would only yeah. kill if i armor cannon right? okay so and then if he Hyper voiced with the Arblovian protected with Haxers, I would have popped the DD and expanded first. So, first you turn yeah. salt. Wow. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Floop, floop studies. Floop does his homework. Mm -hmm. 
That was a brilliant, brilliant play. Um, even losing to um, Toru in the winner's finals, I'm surprised. Um, not surprised that I didn't think you could do it, of course. But, um, <laughs> yes, think you do surprised it. at, you know, just the perseverance, you know, uh, even through all the mental stack of just playing back to back to back. Uh, really taking it back over Toru um, and squeezing out the win. Um, fantastic job. That was... And not only was it smart, it was very entertaining to watch. <laughs> so, oh, my my brain hurts so much. Mm. Um, there are no prizes uh, except for the prize of you being the strongest battler. <laughs> Let's go! Yay! Yay. Yeah, yeah, you did it! Uh, and I'm world's battle. Pachi, Pachi, Pachi. Yeah, we'll pull Toru. Congratulations! Here too. Toru's back here. Uh, Great job, Toru. Toru. The games, the games. Oh, my brain. Congratulations, Luke. <laughs> I got so blown back. Oh, my God. Oh, <sighs> my brain hurts so much. <laughs> you think too much. I had the, to think uh, too much, I think. in a row. Oh, my God. You got the uh, 6,000 calorie workout right there, you know? <laughs> there it is. Mm-hmm. Big, big. So yeah, um, and and Toru, um, you know, great job on on your end as well. Uh, you blew through uh, winners, you know, all the way up to grand finals. So no small feat, absolutely. Uh, very good job on your end as well. You played great. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I'm so glad it wasn't best of five. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That, that would have been. That would have drained everybody. That would have been torture. We're just gonna yeah. keep it best of three. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but yeah um great job to everybody thanks for sticking around um oh i can finally start drinking oh thank god yeah <laughs> well maybe you should have started <laughs> earlier so a that uh, it, you would toast. level out the playing field a little bit <laughs> no Toru, yeah. you don't understand how floop drinks oh oh, oh and this is um this is a good uh, uh th and thank you guys for kind of being guinea pigs uh for my first tournament uh i've actually never hosted something like this on my stream so uh, thank you guys very much for participating. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What thank I'm for thinking now, for yeah, hosting. we clocked in, at, yeah, just over four and a half hours. Uh, a, a special thanks to Toru for waking up at the ass crack of dawn in uh, <laughs> in Australia. <laughs> so glad that you came out and played with us. Um, but that does bring us uh, to the end. So again, once again, uh, great job to everybody who played. Thank you so much. Um, Floop, since you're our champion, um, I don't know if you have the capacity to think anymore. Do you have oh. a um, target that you want to raid, or does it not matter no. to you? All right. No. <laughs> I, I have a, uh, a suggestion. I click expanding force, thing die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we could ask Toru if he uh, has anybody. Uh, oh yeah, Toru. Oh. Um... Otherwise, I'll, I'm looking right now as well. So. I was gonna say, I think uh, Elliot. Is doing like a tarot stream. Oh yeah. So maybe you can go. Ooh. Yeah. Elliot Ambers. That wow. he indeed is. We do love Elliot Ambers, so we can go right into him. <laughs> Elliot with two T's and two L's. Ambers with one I'm M. Glad I was able to show my uh, terror grass uh, palette now just once. Yeah, you did. Just one. Just that's, a one that's time. That's really good tech. I, I I actually really like that. That's good tech. Um, our raid message um, is going to be Terra Raid, of course. Um, I am going to be putting up the results um, as well as a link, you know, to uh, everybody's Twitters and stuff, so you can follow everybody. Uh, kind of forgot about that part, so go man. Um, but yeah, I'll be putting up schedule tomorrow. Um, I think we might host one next month. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sounds good. I'm I'm yeah. down as. Oh my god! I, gotta <laughs> feel like super I was gonna say like when I'm I gonna... start laddering, if I see an armor rouge on the ladder, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all learned I, something. I, I was grinding the absolute fuck out of showdown. <laughs> oh man. Alrighty, well. I'm, I'm like 1500 in random battles for Gen 8. And oh I'm like my god! I'm like 1700 in VGC. <laughs> Wait, one. Gen Gen 8. Gen random, random battles? battles. Uh, if you guys don't mind, yeah, the lie. raid is about to go, yeah. so I gotta say goodbye. Uh, thank you, everybody, yeah, for bye coming bye. and watching. Uh, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.